Casper Vision. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Vision. Today we've got a, when I say a special guest, it's on another level of a special guest. Daz Black, aka Daz Games. Look at him. Yeah, it's got Look at you, mate. Yeah, they got the memo. Man, <laughs> thank you so much. I said, I, I, we saw a, a, a nice, beautiful Tesla outside of the front. Yes. And yes. uh, you did look pretty damn stylish in it, I must admit, <laughs> mate. Yes, yeah, this is like my favorite. I'm not a car guy, per se. I don't really care about cars much, but because it's all technology and what it stands for, everything. I just love it. I had to have it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a car guy. Yeah? I'm not. I like cars. I can yeah. drive cars. Yeah. But I'm not like, no, you if don't. you ask, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, no. I'm, I'm actually pretty. Like, it's automatic, say, isn't it? Nah, but no. I, I <laughs> like cars, like as in like the sexy, sporty cars. Yeah. But I don't fucking know much about them. However, it's one of those things when you start messing around with cars, you get to learn it. Yeah. And then you think, fuck you, look at me. I'm, well, yeah, I'm a man. You feel no, kind of manly, you know, when you know something <laughs> about a car. Yeah. But then if you lift, lift up the bonnet to a Tesla, mate. Nothing. It's, it's a, it's a they boot. got a trunk and they call it a frunk. Nice. The front, yeah. Frunk and trunk. Well, you've played Car Mechanic Simulator, mate. So you fix anything, can you? Actually, there is a DLC <laughs> of the uh, of the Tesla for the, for the car simulator. Is it? Yeah, no, there is. Really? Yeah. yeah, man. I only downloaded uh, the new Gran Turismo because uh, they, they sent it to me and I downloaded it and it's got a Tesla in it. I was like, I want to drive nice. my car in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then I deleted it afterwards. I was like, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. But what are you... And like, okay, so listen, I'm going to have to explain sort of how you're here, mm. why you're here, because yeah. I um, obviously started up this uh, um, podcast. I was like, who we can get in? Who could we get in? And... When I uh, was on live stream on Twitch, because I also live stream on Twitch as well, yeah, I was asking people, I was like, who should I get on? And I've also, I think it was YouTube. And your name popped up a hell of a lot. Mm. And I remember seeing you yeah. in London. You probably don't remember me. I do. Did I you, do really? really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you emailed me and said, I'm the guy from the Jelly Smack thing, I was like, I remember that guy. Oh. I remember saying that. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, yeah. uh, Daz remembered me. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> but I have to say, man, when I saw you there, you were like this fucking pimp going around. Like, <laughs> I'm the least pimp, pimp person like, ever. Like. Honestly. And I was when I saw you, I was like, oh, shit, that's fucking Daz Games. Yeah. And th there was this flock of people around you. Yeah. Yeah. Were they your friends or were they just people latching onto you? Dazzlers. Where was it? The Dazzlers, yeah. Yeah, the Dazzlers, mate. It's a, it's a mixture. Like, now you've got, when you go to these events, I don't really know anyone anymore. Like, all the bigger OG YouTubers have kind of retired or yeah. they just, you know, moved on um, or moved abroad. So, when you go to these events now, I purely go, like, for the fans just to meet, you know, them. Um, and it's, you get all these, like, TikTokers who, when they were 13, 14, they were watching me on Vine and yeah. now they've become creators and it's just a mixture of like fans and creators. Nice. Um, from Because I go back to the Vine invasion when Vine, you know, invaded YouTube and it was yeah. just all these big Viners blowing up and they were like the next generation. Now it's TikTokers doing the same thing. So It's crazy yeah. how like the, the growth of that TikTok. It's mental. Because you're on yeah. TikTok as well, aren't you? I am, yeah. yeah. I, I, I got on when it was musically, but just to take the piss. Like, right. I thought it was terrible. Um, and then it got taken over. And I was, at the time when everyone was doing all the dances in the mic, I say dancing, like, I use yeah. that term loosely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were just um, doing musically. And I was, I thought, I'm just going to upload how I did on Vine and just do comedy. And yeah. there was, and they actually got in contact. And that was the reason why they added a comedy page because me and a few other people. No way. Yeah, they were nice. like, we actually like this. This is the direction we want to go. And then it became TikTok. And off the bat, my content was already ready for comedy. Like, nice. So, wow. Yeah, just me making fun of the app. Mate, I've, 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 <laughs> I've, seen, uh, I've seen, obviously, um, Daz Black, your, your, your sketches that you mm. do. Mate, I'm not being funny. You're a good actor. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're man, a good, I love it. I love you're it. a good actor, yeah, yeah. mate. And um, I remember, because I, as a kid, I've always wanted to be an actor. Yeah. From the, the earliest I can remember. Of course, Ian McNeese was on there. I, I, yeah. I was trying to drop in like, oh, I'd love to be an actor. Just sliding <laughs> a headshot across. <laughs> yeah. Get me a job, Mike. Get me a job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I also, um, I, uh, I'm going to go back to Jelly Smack in a minute, but I, I thought I'm going to have to look into sort of a um, little bit of, uh, you know, 
analytics, a little bit of data, right? And mm. I thought, how many, how many YouTube channels are there, right? Mm. And I put in, how many YouTube channels are there in the UK? And I think it's come up like 30 million, mm. right? Yeah. Do you know what rank you are? I think there's like two different ways of doing it, isn't there? There's like separating all the industry channels like MTV and that, that aren't yeah, singular yeah. YouTubers or just counting it as a whole. But I think I'm... Am I in like the top 100 or something? You're like 15 in the UK. Holy really? shit. <laughs> Are you really? 15. No I'm 15. way, You're man. 15th, mate. Wow. No way. That's, That's so crazy. I didn't, That's that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I was like, shit in hell. I have 30 million. I am, well, if you look on Social Blade, I'm... Um, I think 900. Or yeah, yeah. Nine, still fucking good, good if mate. You, you know, right. out of 30 million. Yeah, right? yeah. Jesus. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Not as, Catching up. I think you, I'm 29 million, <laughs> Yeah. Well. But you've got, uh, you've got, um, what is it? How, how many you got? Eight a, million, no, seven and a half 7. million? 7.5, yeah. yeah. And um, then also on Daz Black, it's like 1.5 million or something. Is it 1.5? Like I thought it was only just hit one. I don't, <laughs> I don't look at it. I don't pay attention. When did you stop <laughs> looking? Um... I mean, when I, when I was on Vine and I could see myself um, going to like a million, I was like, I'm going to hit a million followers. And then I hit that and it, I was like, amazing. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know, just after that, really, it's just enough. It, you're not saying that I'm like, I don't care. It's yeah. amazing that that many people want to watch me and follow me. Um, but I don't know. I just, I don't really like pay attention to numbers. To me, it doesn't feel like a job. I'm just lucky enough. Yeah, that is, is is a job, and I earn a living from being a twat full time. So <laughs> yeah, but there's professional twats, isn't there? Yeah, <laughs> you know professional I mean? twat. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. on my <laughs> business card. Oh, that's cracked, then, <laughs> isn't it? Hello. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what that is. That um, <clears throat> we won't we won't pick that up. But um, no, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But uh, it doesn't for for me. It doesn't feel like a job because um, I've only just become full time in the YouTube life. What year? Yeah, yeah. year and year and two mm. three months. Mm. And mate, it felt so good to just yeah. say "fuck you, man" to my nine to five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because uh, as you know, like it. I mean, fucking hell, the, the struggle to yeah. get to where, you know, especially where you are, mate. Well, I had a lot of jobs. So, what was your so last many. job before this? Then before um, it, before const- you construction. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. What, Not, builder? Yeah, yeah. Not oh. very good, but <laughs> I was I was yeah. a plasterer. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I was kind of a labourer. I did I worked with brickies and plasterers and sparkies and I was just like their labourer, but I learned a lot yeah, through yeah. doing it and I did a bit of bricklaying and stuff like that. And yeah, I've worked in my first job was KFC. Yeah, yeah. man. As Mine was Mackie D's. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we that's, how we met. Met. that's how we met. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. We were wow. Like 18, See? something like that. 17, Junk food, 18. bringing us all together. Mate. Skateboarders. <laughs> yeah, we skated a lot. Yeah, skateboarding. See, all my friends skateboarded, and I could never, ever do it. Um, no, but I couldn't either, I, man. I just I, tried. I, yeah, I just sat there, and I held a board. I bought a board, and I just couldn't ride it. But I just wanted <laughs> did like, you try? Yeah, I did or try, did and I really scared? hurt myself. Like, and that was it. It's not like the trade where you look busy just hold a hammer yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> i just want to look the part that's all <laughs> i hurt myself really bad though didn't i on a skate you did mate going down the half pipe, broke yeah. my leg six places <laughs> no, no, see, i've never done my knee drop in. i was like i just tried standing on it i was in a place called bottle alley um in hastings where i grew up and i thought i'm gonna learn to ride this thing every i want to you know and there was a girl i liked she was a skater she was awesome i was like this is it i have to yeah. do something so i tried to just stand on it and just push off that was it and i bought these new skating shoes and I put one foot on the board and one foot like sideboards on there and my, my legs started going apart. My foot stayed on the, the grip was so good on my shoes. Yeah. <laughs> and I slowly did the splits. I went all the way down until my ass touched the ground. I sort oh, of fell sideways. Shit. And oh my God, I was shaking in pain. And then, oh, mate. Yeah, she was the first one to see me like that as well. So that, that ended. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you didn't get the first yeah, date. No? Yeah, I was never going to be a professional skateboarder. Oh, so. man. That's how I broke yeah. my leg. Really? I, I dropped in on a half pipe. And my, my back foot stayed on the top of the ramp oh. and my front went down with it. Oh. So I just split at the top and then just bang, snap. No. And I just stood at the top <laughs> laughing. That yeah, yeah. felt so that bad. Was yeah. knee, man. Oh, was that your knee? Yeah, yeah, I broke my leg before that yeah. at the youth club. Yeah. That was another time you laughed at him in pain. <laughs> he wasn't there then. He wasn't there, man. <laughs> oh, mate. But just going back to um, Jelly Smack, because yeah. how are you, part, are you involved with Jelly Smack in any sort of way? I literally sometimes I don't have anything going on at these events. They just invite me. 
and I do like meet and greets. And that's the sole reason I go. Oh. But all these companies, as soon as I go through the door, they just want to like sell me their products, which is fair, you know, that's, yeah. that's kind of what we do. So at that time, I think Jelly Smack were just showing me that what they do and, you know, how they want to like... Yeah, well, I'm I, I'm with Jerry Smack, so mm. they contacted me asking me to use. Uh, they wanted to use my content to put on like um, Instagram and Facebook, mm. and then I like, get like a revenue of the uh, yeah yeah what yeah. they put up on there, and it's pretty good. And they invited me. I was like, yeah. Do you know what though, mate? I was so pissed off. Really? I mean, to be like honestly, I, I've got nothing bad to say about them. They're really nice people, professional and that. But I, you know, when you as, when you assume that something's going to be Oh. you know great and i drove from newquay to london that yeah. morning right wow and i got there and i think not the morning I, I managed to get there i think half an hour after the the, the party had started and of course it only went on to 11 o'clock ah uh, so you missed it no i didn't miss it i was in there obviously okay. we saw each other you fuck me what's in that tea uh, oh you're talking <laughs> about, okay i thought this was another time that you went to see no, no, them no, no. Oh, i went in time. there i went in there and I was expecting it to be sort of like a three or four o'clock in the morning, yeah. massive party. Yeah. So I drove all the way there, like seven hours or whatever, got there, spent about two and a half hours in there, yeah. and, and that was it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, the lights came on. He goes, oh, that's it. We've only got the license to the X amount of time. I was like, oh, no, mate. Yeah. That they just care, like these events, um, like I've stopped going now. I'm not going to the next summer in the city. I'm not. Do the right. next VidCon, like VidCon USA, they they invited me out. Like the first time I went there, I had to like pay for everything, pay for my flights, everything. And bearing in mind, creators like us, the reason why these events exist, why they draw in and sell, like, mm. and creators never get paid, I mean, n nothing. Mm. Um, so the first time I went, uh, landed, went to the event, and I had like a badge, not even a backstage like pass to go with the big creators or anything. So I would. I was allowed to but go you to the floor. A big creator. Yeah, yeah. At the time, I was on like three million. That's quite a big creator. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I went out on the floor. I obviously like got mob, loads of fan security. Just like you have to leave. So <laughs> I'm here in LA. I and they get they upgrade my pass so I can go backstage. I was like, right. So I've got no panels, nothing at all. Um, you've announced I'm here on your website, but I can't even go to the event. I can't go on the floor. I can't just sit backstage. I was like, why am I here? And they did the same this year as well. They, they invited me out. Like, we can give you like a VIP pass to the backstage area. I was like, okay, is there any panels? Is there any like meet and greets? And it's like, no. So oh, I'm like, the point, they yeah. just want to use the name. Yeah, Daz yeah, Black yeah. is Daz coming. Black. Daz Black's here. And the hope, but you're not allowed it on the floor, floor for security reasons. So no one's going to see me. I'm not going to get to meet any fans or do any talks. I'm just... That, and they're like, you to have go, to, mate. yeah, you got to pay your flights yeah, everything yeah. as well in your hotel. That I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's... Yeah, that's VidCon as well. Like, wow, That's mate. how they treat creators, yeah. Shit. So I had, there was just, and they couldn't work out why I didn't want to go. I was like, well, why Why do you need me then? Yeah. I'm just in the back, like, yeah. you know. So who did they look after in that type of, in that way? It's really weird. They, they like their own, like, American creators and they yeah. push them out and give them panels and... But a lot of these events, I just see the fans and I feel sorry for them because they come and even the people they want to meet, they get put into a ballad and stuff like that. And you can't pick who you meet. It's like you go into like a lottery, I think it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and really? um, yeah, it's like, I want to go and meet um, Daz. And yeah. then it's like a week later, they raffle it up. And if you win the raffle, you get... To, you know, it randomly picks who you're going to see. So you buy a ticket, you don't even get to see who you want to see. <laughs> I'd be so pissed off. Yeah. yeah. I don't fucking want him, want him. Yeah, that's how it works. So like, you, there's, it's even a gamble when you buy a ticket as if you're going to get into the meet and greet with the creator you want to see. So I just stopped doing it for that reason. To be fair though, Daz, if you wanted to set up your own meet and greet here, you, you could. I've you? been doing it with the yeah. ghost hunts. Like we announce where we're going to be uh, in which town. We did it with the last one and it was, I think we're going to do it a bit um, more organized next time because of safety. Because yeah. anyone can turn up and just shank me. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. Shut you up, lad. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't want that. Like so, but it was you really nice. You don't get any haters, though, no. do you? No, no. I, I have had some death threats and stuff, uh, like yeah? saying they're gonna come to my meet and greets and like stab me and stuff. But at these like events, as security and like everyone's checked and scanned. Yeah. And I think that's what I need to kind of incorporate, you know, to make sure everyone's safe. But I, yeah, I could have arranged these things. When did you get to the stage where you thought, shit, I need security in that? Well, I don't have security. I, um, well, well sort of, as in sort of when you're conscious of, okay, if I do a meet and greet, I've got to be careful that there could be some weirdos and stuff. And like, you know, pe you, yeah. need, you need to check people before they come in. Like, when do you get to that stage where you go, shit, I'm, I started realizing. I'm, 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 I'm Daz Black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. It was kind of, I, I've only ever really done events and I've not really done anything outside of um, that for that reason. Yeah. From the off, I realized. It doesn't matter how big you are. You could have like twenty k, and, yeah. and you know one of those people could obsess it's over mental. you and be a bit mental. Yeah. Um, when I really realised the level of dedication some of these people have to finding you, was two incidences. There was one when I was in Australia. I was doing some filming for the first Aquaman movie, and we were there for like a week. What? <laughs> hey, what? Yeah, the first. You know, the what? first. What? Amber? Amber Turd? Yeah. I you and Amber? I didn't see her. Oh. I have not. I have nothing what? to do with her. <laughs> Hang on, you were in Aquaman. I wasn't in Aquaman. I worked with Jason Momoa like on the set of Aquaman, like for some behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. What? Wow. What yeah. doing, man? Um, it was just literally, you know, come to to set and you know film, make content for Aquaman with Jason and no stuff way. like that. Yeah, that was years ago. My kids told me wow, a few bits man. this morning about you. My kids know more. Yeah. No, no offense, my kids know more about no, sorry, you than I do. Like, <laughs> I, I only know about you from Jelly. When Ben went to Jelly Smack, he came back. He said, "Oh man, yeah. cool guy, Daz." And then I looked at you then. But yeah. they said you've done some like big stuff. Oh but, yeah, you get invited. Like, I've, have you been in movies? Because yeah, um, you're you're an actor. I've been in some movies like Loki, like um, Brotherhood with like Noel Clark and stuff like that. But I've done much. I've like I get called to direct things like sketches and stuff. Like uh, we did one with uh, The Rock and Kevin Hart for. Something that was it. That's what my kid said. The yeah. Rock. He'd done something and with for, The Rock for Rampage. What the hell, mate? Hang well. on. This is actually. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a different bloody world right now. <laughs> you yeah, better yeah, fucking yeah. get your act together, mate. Well, no, yeah. I deliberately, I deliberately didn't look you up as yeah. much as I probably should have because yeah. I wanted to ask you these questions. I wanted yeah. to find out more about you, you know, yeah. instead of Googling shit. Yeah. You'll, yeah. Be, you'll be helping Tom Cruise and all sorts soon, mate. Yeah. You'll be Tom doing that it. anyway, mate. Yeah, he wants me to do Top Gun yeah. 3 already. <laughs> yeah. Tom wants to work with us. Yeah. It's not the other way Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's unreal, Dad. Yeah. So, hang on, where were we? Because we went off... Oh, yeah, we were on a uh, set of Aquaman. Yeah. Um, and when I was staying there in a hotel, someone uh, from... I was in Brisbane... And I think Sydney, which is quite a way away, they traveled down there with their mum and they found, I didn't announce I was there obviously because it was all like NDA, like yeah. you're know, not allowed to tell anyone you're working on the film. And they came all the way down, must have been like a hundred miles or something. And they found which hotel I was staying in based on my Instagram story, the decor of oh, the hotel. No way. Yeah, and they searched for all the hotels in <laughs> Brisbane <laughs> to match. Stalker. And they said, I saw a tweet that we're downstairs. And like, and my, I was like, okay, I'll come down and meet. They must have seen me come in or something. Yeah, yeah. I won't even wait. And I'll go down and see him. It's only one fan. And yeah, mum was just telling me how she found me. And she was 12. That's incredible. She, she was 12. 12 years yeah. old. And that's how they, they found me, yeah. yeah. No, and I was like... That's how careful you've got to be if I'm there's like, someone like... I, I, know, I never thought that was even possible, so... Do you, do you, um, do you worry about it? Um, sometimes. Like, when they come to my house, mm. I had an incident where, incident where I lived on the main road. It was one of the first places I bought when I started um, getting big on YouTube. And... I just had tweets posted to me like um, in Daz Black's living room and I, I left my window open and they must have like unhinged it and they'd taken a photo Holy of my inside my living room shit. and it was one of the school kids or something that must have seen you know my daughter get dropped off there and oh, then that's how it spreads all the school kids talk and talk like Daz lives there and he goes to the other schools yeah, and then you and then they just turn up and it, it just, they just come like 3 a.m. like seven cars outside just beeping like, it's 2 a.m., I'm fucking asleep. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. And like, they're just like, Daz, Daz. And I'm just like, fuck off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's the only time where I'm, like, not nice to... Yeah, to yeah. If that's, that's my home. Like, yeah. don't come to my home. Because <laughs> otherwise, cause it could get to a stage of where you just leapfrogging from house yeah. to house, you yeah. know? Because you always have you done that? Have you had to move because I, I've, of that? I moved from that property because of that. It, I, I felt like I was in a zoo sometimes because... 
had these like big windows and it was on the side of the road. People would just stand there yeah, and just, like, watching, they just yeah. wait outside and yeah, oh, I'd have the curtains drawn. He's wearing clothes like a human. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the problem. I don't always wear clothes when I'm on my own in the house. Like, I, don't wanna, I don't want people seeing that. <laughs> There's a Dorito helicopter like... coming down the stairs. Oh no! Oh, no it's just Daz. It's just Daz. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Why is this popping, mate? Um, I think it's just we. It, it won't. It won't on the recording. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you, uh, what, what got you involved in like, YouTube? Why, why did you start going? Do you know what? I want to get into YouTube. Mm. I love this. Um, I. When I was eight years old, um, I saw Jurassic Park, and I love dinosaurs, and I, I just. I remember the conversation with my dad. I was like, I want to like do what they're doing in that mm. movie. And he was like, well, you want to be a dinosaur? I'm like, no, you twat. Like, <laughs> I want to be the people running away from the dinosaur. Like, he's like, oh, an actor. I was like, yeah. And I was like, ever since then, like all through school, drama classes, everything, I would like take part in everything that was. But my family would just, you know, work, pay your bills, die. That's the dream. Don't bother. Yeah, yeah. Um, hence why I went through so many jobs because I just wasn't happy. Mm. Um, and then when I was about 20s, well, I started YouTube when it basically started in 2005. Right. Um, and I started uploading random, you know, crap, like that made no sense, just stupid, dumb. And it was funny because this is way before short form content. And I was uploading like five or six second clips of just me doing random stuff. Right. Um, even though at the time, I think you could have like a minute or something was like right. the longest time on YouTube. And yeah, I started then and it was Vine that really, you know, I got to about 600 followers in like four years on YouTube. Um, wow. And on Vine, I got to 600 followers in like six days. Right. So I was like, wow, that's yeah. crazy. And yeah, Vine was just, it was about, I was about 20, 26 when Vine started. Yeah. So you're proper OG, Dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Yeah, proper man. OG YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Right at the start. The goat or whatever they call it. Yeah. Well, the goat, you deserve yeah. it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been doing it years. And yeah, to still be doing it, like most people lose interest by now, but it only seems to keep going. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very mean, honoured. Yeah, definitely, man. I, that's what I feel like sometimes as well. Well, I feel like it all the time, to be fair. Um, you know, it, it sounds like a similar type of... Um, uh, picture of what I what I was going through as well. Like like I said to you, when I was younger, I wanted to be an actor, a big show off. Mm. And then when when virtual reality came out, because I've I've been gaming since I was well since computers were around. Yeah, <laughs> we had some yeah. of the first, didn't we, mate? Yeah. Yes, mate. Yeah. Far so cry. I just thought I like gaming. I like virtual reality. You know, I like showing off. Like well, I wanted to be an actor. Mm. This just ticks every single box. Yeah. You know. Um. I suppose. I've been doing it for seven years and it was only until, because I did gaming, I got probably about 800 videos of gaming on there. Mm. And it takes a long time. It's like the editing, the purchasing of the games, the playing of the games, mm. as you know, you know, yeah. and um, it just, I, I think I got to about 15,000 after about five years. Yeah. Uh, at first, because the VR had that big jump and then it just went, like just plateaued. Yeah. And I thought, do you know what? I'm, I'm changing it up. Yeah, you know, and then so that's why I started doing paranormal and things like that. You know, comedy versions of paranormal, and um, yeah, then it went it went crazy. But like, I I understand what you what you mean when you just feel so sort of privileged, mm. because also what I've noticed is, I think if you if you're really young and you're getting into the YouTube and you hit it big, yeah, I think you don't you you you've never experienced. Mm. what the real world's like yeah. and and i think sometimes like you know people may be able to take that for, that for granted yeah you know but whereas i've had we've worked at mcdonald's you know i've been a plasterer mm. i've gone through you know i've worked my way up through the ladder of like you know different types of jobs i was, I was branch manager at screw fix yeah you know yeah. um and then to to knuckle down and get to the youtube you just think i never want to go back to that nine to five ever again yeah you know, yeah, and I just feel like blessed, really do, yeah. and just, and I'm a firm believer in just. But if you're down. a genuine guy, mate, and you both are, yeah, you, you get genuine people, yeah, and yeah. it's the people that keep you going, and that's it. Like you know, you it's your fans, mate. You yeah. know, your, your die-hard fans. But you see these channels. What do you reckon about these channels that do get big? Like you see these channels, like a million subscribers and stuff like that, and then all of a sudden it just goes downhill and their views just are just not mm. there. And what, what what do you think goes wrong? Because you've consistently hit views all the time. I looked last night. You're, 
do you know how much your biggest videos got? No. 17 and a half million views. Fuck. Oh, wow. Is that on Dad's Games? Yeah. Okay. 17 and a half million views. I watched one last night. You put on six hours it had been on. I think it was on 800,000 views or something. Yeah. That's fucking nuts. Yeah. So, like, what do you think? a lot of people, Dad. Yeah. yeah. You think, I don't of know fo- why. <laughs> think of football stadium, mate. It's yeah. Like 80,000, isn't it? Yeah. 10 times that. Yeah. It's crazy. That's nuts. What do you reckon about these channels then? It just just, just dropped to nothing. Um, what happens? Sometimes uh, I just think um, I've always tried to not do the same thing. Back on Vine, when I did like the, the tea party stuff, uh, people started calling me the tea party guy. And I hated it. I did not want to be known for one thing. Mm. So I just created characters and, blah, 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 and you know, it's carrying on to today. Like, um, that's why I introduced Ghost Hunting as a new series. And that's new and fresh on the channel. And I'm always doing everything I can yeah. um, to keep people engaged. And I think a lot of people, they they become like, say, like a Call of Duty channel. Um, yeah. And then they get stuck there. They yeah. attract Call of Duty fans. People come there for one reason, mm. and then after a while, when that game or product or whatever dies out, it's you know, that right now there are channels blowing up through the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard right. situation because they're just reviewing it. Yeah, yeah, and that's fine. But when the trial ends, yeah. they think in their minds, oh, "I'm going to do something else with yeah. this new audience." But mm. no one's no one's going to watch because they they they're tuned in just for that. Um, so I think it's definitely consistency. Um, I've been doing it for years and no matter how many holidays and stuff I've had, I've always had content yeah. going out. Um, just keeping people engaged, yeah. I think is, um, but honestly, I, I literally, I don't know. Everyone says, what's the secret? And I, I don't know. Do you know what I think? <laughs> I, do you know what I think it is, mate? I think it's because you genuinely enjoy it. Are you not approaching it like a source of income, a job that you have to do? Yeah. Like you can tell when you're reviewing things and you're looking at, you know, games and things like that you're actually enjoying what you do yeah, yeah you yeah. know well it, uh, it gives me that sort of platform to to do like stand-up comedy and stuff and uh, that actually led to a full uk tour where i did stand up from this um and it's <laughs> i feel like i don't know i've done a bit of research but not enough obviously <laughs> oh we're doing the tell, tell us a fucking joke <laughs> That's the worst thing you can say to a comic. <laughs> oh, Come on, man, I'm the road. <laughs> <laughs> think you're fucking funny, do you? <laughs> it's like a challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, you must have been shitting yourself. It the was first like time. to take because behind the screen in your edit, you can just read what people are gonna say. Mm. But I always wanted to do it, and I nearly walked into a few comedy clubs. One, but I just I was too scared because you have to be there and make a whole room laugh. Yeah. And if you tell a joke that you think is funny and you hear nothing, that's my nightmare. Like, and I'm just like, oh, tumbleweed. I want to die. But we did a show in, in, in London at the O2 and we literally just went in. I had some material. I was confident with it. And it went really well. And yeah. then off the back of that, we did a UK tour. And we're doing the, the US and Australia next. No so, way. Yeah. Does, but COVID has just yeah. delayed everything. So, mm. yeah. But that's next. Mate, yeah. that is so Fucking, that's amazing, man. Yeah, you just come back from the States, right? Um, like a couple, couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago? Yeah, it was, where was I? I can't remember where I was. <laughs> America? <laughs> yeah, I, I came back from, because uh, my girlfriend's out there, uh, who I met on Vine as well. And really? Yeah, she's out there. Uh, so I went out there to meet her family and stuff and just take a break. And, nice. Yeah. So yeah. What, she, uh, how long was she over there for? Uh, well, she lives there. Oh, okay. So it's yeah. like a long distance relationship. Yeah, it is at the moment. Um we're kind of talking about her coming to the UK because yeah. she's going to do her university over here. Like she's doing um, archaeology and stuff like that. Nice. Yeah. And it's just really weird because, you know, I always feel inferior because she's like, oh, I just got another A on my exams on like such and such from this era. And I'm like, oh, great. I just reviewed a family that won't stop eating their own shit. <laughs> 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 and it's like, it's really weird. <laughs> I don't know why she picked me is the, is the problem. Oh, um, yeah, but well, she's wonderful. It's going great. Yeah. It's tough though, isn't it? Long yeah. Because my, my wife was, is originally from Venezuela. Right, yeah. And we met online oh, okay. um, just because she wanted, she didn't want the Venezuelan men and I wanted like a, well, just basically I was pissed up. I just requested loads of <laughs> yeah. fit, Less romantic. Fit, fit girls. <laughs> and, uh, but it is tough, isn't it? But I tell mm. you what, Skype got a lot of uh, work in those through those times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Naughty Skype. 
Naughty Sky. Yeah. <laughs> Naughty Sky. From Early days of OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. That's crazy now. And that OnlyFans has destroyed dating apps. Because when I first went on to dating apps, it was great. Like, it was really, you were meeting loads of people. And was, but then, uh, obviously, I, I came away, I got into a relationship. Um, and then when that didn't work out, I went back after a few years of being off the dating apps to dating apps. And when I came back and OnlyFans is up now, like, uh, girls, they just treat it like a business on there. They're, they're always trying to sell me something. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, like, God. you'll be talking to them, like, let's switch this over. Like, let's go to, like, Snapchat or something, which we all know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> and you go there, and there, there was this one conversation I had, and, and I, I was like... So the first time I really found out about OnlyFans, and she was like, oh, you know, I just, before we meet, I just, can you check out my OnlyFans? And I was like, what the hell's that? She's like, oh, you subscribe to see pictures of me. I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, how how much is that? <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, it's um, 30 pounds a month. I said, 30 pounds a month. I said, my water bill is 15 pounds a month. <laughs> I said, what's on there? And she said, uh, it's just, it's mainly pictures of my feet. I was like, 30 pounds a month <laughs> to see your feet. I could go on the beach. Yeah, I was just Google, foot, millions yeah. of free feet. Like, yeah. And I, I, was, I was explaining, I was going off at her. I was like, and asking her how it works. And she just stopped talking to me. I was fascinated. She was trying to charge oh, me that for a foot. Yeah. But you went in there with obviously intentions of like, yeah, I just okay, wanted mate. to meet someone and it yeah. kept happening and happening and happening. And in the end, I just came off them because it was just all these girls trying to sell me pictures of their hands and feet and stuff. Yeah, what the mental. hell? Yeah. See, I've never, apart from obviously meeting my missus, I've never been, th this was when dating sites first came out. Yeah. You know, and it was a bit of a taboo subject. If someone said go on a dating site, you'd be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was taboo at the start, to, wasn't it? Don't need to do that. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. it was just basically for weirdos that yeah, couldn't yeah. get. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just thought he's a fucking weirdo. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But as uh, I suppose, and isn't it that um, OnlyFans now are, didn't they say they're not doing any nude now or something? No, they were it, they were talking about it a while ago, weren't they? But then taking they, videos off. They, I think. Yeah, they lost it, didn't they? Yeah, and then all the creators were like. No, we'll leave because yeah. there's loads of other sites apparently, and yeah, like, yeah, they're, they're gonna keep it, I think. Yeah. yeah, so you do, you've got th three channels, haven't you? Your YouTube channels, none of them are OnlyFans. No, <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling him to get one, yeah. he did quite well. Yeah. <laughs> you've also, have you you've got Twitch as well, right? I do, I but I, I'm yeah, terrible at it. Me. Yeah, I'll have a whiskey, yeah. Yeah, yeah I fucking, I knew you were, yeah, yeah, I, I saw you. it, <laughs> <laughs> but you, so. So you have got a Twitch because mm -hmm. I saw last night. Yeah, you partnered in that. But do you do you stream on there often? I just don't get the time now no? to do it. And um, to admit, the oh, cheers. That's lovely, by the way. This stuff. What is it? Yeah, it's um. What's it called? Tamil Valen. Tamil Valen. Okay. Tamil Valen. It's it's Scottish. It's not Welsh. We did that last time, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Good, eh? It's good shit. Yeah. It's good shit. Yeah. Can't wait for the drive home. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Tesla auto. Yeah. Take me home now. <laughs> Have you ever used that? Can you use that over it? You can. Uh, you buy it as like a feature. Right. And I didn't buy it because the UK are going to try and ban auto driving because yeah. it's dangerous. So I thought it was no point. In that. And it doesn't like our roundabouts or dual carriageways. and Yeah. And our narrow roads. Yeah. And things like I've done that. like the demo mode of it. And it literally, if it thinks, if it glitches or if something thinks it's, or a leaf goes on the camera, it just breaks. Yeah. And it's just too dangerous. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. In America, like their roads are massive, long, straight. It works better out there. But it's not. Yeah. It's not a good feature over here, so yeah, I just mm. drive it myself. I've seen, um, I've seen you go <coughs> with your roommate as well to the go the graveyards, the graveyards, and see if your Tesla picks up on the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. We used it. That's to... a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've used it a few times in ghost towns to see if we can see spirits walking in front of it. Yeah, yeah. but nothing yet. <laughs> we we love our ghost hunts. We've uh, we've got um, well, how many? We've probably done six or seven now, haven't we? Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah. I did, I did. I did. I sent you a link to one of ours, actually, the one our most recent one. Um, I but I think one of the best ones is where I hired out Bodmin Jail, mm. and that was crazy, man. Have you heard really? of Bodmin Jail? No, Holy Bodmin shit, Jail, mate. really. That'd be good. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's one of the most haunted places. It's it's a tourist attraction because it's. I mean, there was loads of hangings there mm. from years ago. Yeah, I mean, you know a lot more about the history. Yeah. But I can't remember, to be fair. That was great. That was, but a, then, that was a year or two ago now, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But um, 
I think I would say the best one is our most recent one. I sent you the link. We went to this random fountain in the middle of a forest and um, we had all the equipment out there and it just was it was just going off, wasn't it? Everything was active, mate. Yeah, yeah. shit was going off. He's got this music box. Ooh. You seen the music yeah, boxes? Yeah, yeah got one, one, that was one going one off. It's like, yeah. holy shit, yeah. man. Wow. Fucking, fucking brilliant. We had, but, we had um, voices, didn't we? Yeah, mate. What is it? What is, rest. Rest. Ben says, are you tired? And we didn't hear it at the time. But after reviewing the footage, you can hear just like, <coughs> rest. Yeah. Like, honestly, mate. Yeah. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Yeah. Shit myself. See, I don't, I don't, I'm on, I'm on the edge yeah. Of glory. <laughs> I, knew that was coming. I heard it when you said it. <laughs> As in, I don't know if I is I review paranormal footage, mm. right? I react to it, I comment about it. I'm on the edge of whether I believe on it or not. Mm. I, the small seed tells me that that like you know is planted where I think it, it, there's a possibility it could be, mm. and that's what scares me. So when we go out, we shit ourselves going yeah, out. Yeah. But generally, I, I'm like, no, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't believe in ghosts. I think when you're dead, you're gone. Like, um. So why do you do ghosts? Then? It's probably uh, the same reason us because yeah, we want to find out. Well, I see all these shows and I see all these people having these experiences, and I'm just like, okay, let's, yeah, let's go and let's go and do it. Like, let's go and and I, I loved Most Haunted and stuff growing up. And, What's that, Sam? Yeah. <laughs> It's What's terrible now, when <laughs> And he got done for fraud as well. Like, yeah, he did, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. Oh, it was, it was, was so Cornish much fun. Boy, I think. Yeah. Here yeah. we go, look. There she goes. There See, she now we're, that's not supposed to happen when we're talking about this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's done with the core, mate. Okay. One of our sound... Uh, <laughs> look, that, what, one of those is about to go as well. Yeah. That's no. not right. Okay, we'll so ignore that. We won't. Curiosity, yeah. then. Don't you? Yeah, that's why. It, yeah, it is. It's yeah, it. And I've had one uh, experience in one of my videos at the Ram Inn uh, where a, a door opened on its own, but to open it, you had to lift the latch, and it was very unique. We had um, the cameras inside the room caught it, mm. and the CCTV footage caught it from the outside, and we had a cat GoPro at the bottom of the stairs. We had every single angle covered, which is like you know, ghost hunting gold. Yeah, yeah. Even the owner of the building, like, sold the footage to us because she wants to sell it to yeah. different companies because it's so... You see the hinge just get lifted out. It's this massive old wooden door with a bolt. Yeah. You should see it get lifted out and pushed, and you see me push the door back, and it pushes back against me. No. Yeah, it's in the video. And... Well, and you don't... And after, uh, see, if shit that happened to me, man, I'll be yeah. like, hang on a second, that seed's just fucking grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, latch I can't up. explain it, and it, it's... It, I often think about it. It stays with me and I'm like, can't explain it. And But I don't know if that's ghosts or if it's, you know, like a replay or something from like older times, like Dimensions Crossing. Oh, stuff I get like what that. you're saying. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. So yeah. you don't necessarily believe in like an apparition spirit, but yeah. you believe in some sort of energy for energy something, that could be yeah, lingering. Something like, you know, that echo, like an echo. Like, yeah. I've never know. thought of it that way before. Yeah, that's what I, I think it could well, yeah, be. Yes, you have, because we spoke about it a while ago. <laughs> what, what, like a door opening, it's yeah, just like replaying? A, remember I said about we're, we're made up of electricity, yeah. and that, where does that electricity go? Yeah. So it's sort of like... Um, yeah, but not like a, another dimension or... Like oh, an echo. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah well, yeah. you think about it, like why it's always older places that are like haunted. In like a hundred years, this probably all won't still be here, but these buildings are. Yeah. So it's probably long enough for these echoes and enough to be happening in them to repeat themselves at a certain point down the road. Whereas like a modern house, it's new. You yeah, won't yeah, get anything yeah. in it. So that's what I think. I think it's something that we don't know. I've done, I've heard voices and stuff that I can't explain. Like I did the Bradford Playhouse and you literally hear a child calling out to us from down below. Uh, oh, man, and we were there up. on our own. I yeah. throw up everywhere. Yeah. Oh, I left after I heard that. I was like, because I played too many horror games. I'm like, yeah. I'm out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've caught things that I can't explain, but I'm not going to say, I don't think I'm ever going to believe in ghosts. Because if I was a ghost... And I could just float around, do what I want. I would not hang about in the same house. I'd, I'd go see like Jessica Alba or something. I'd, you know, <laughs> I'd go haunt someone worth haunting. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be an awful ghost. <laughs> we, we've said that though, but you know, the argument, there's always an argument, isn't there? But the argument would be sort of, yeah, but then you're trapped. You don't know. That's why you've got to be shown the light and all that sort of stuff, mm, you know? Yeah. But who knows why that? Who decided that's what that is? Yeah, man. 
That's the people strange. that want to believe. Yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, you're trapped there. It's like, okay, how did you find that out? Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> At the end of the day, mate, people just like being scared, don't they? Yeah. Well, I don't. No? <laughs> oh, yeah, you mate. do. You love it. <laughs> no, I've seen I it on your it. videos. <laughs> you love it. Man, uh, th that's one of the reasons why um, I started my Twitch. Because mm. when I was doing gaming, everybody wanted me to carry on doing virtual reality horror games. And, mate, I'm telling you, the anxiety before, like, you've played Dread Halls? Dread Halls. Have you, done, you done a lot of VR, Dad? Yeah. Yeah. I try to avoid it because well, you've seen what I'm like with normal horror yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. Like, that is another level. Like, well, honestly, I, 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 I was doing Dread Halls. So, basically, you're in these, these um, uh, brick corridors. It's like catacomb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and you've got like a, a torch and you've got a map and you've got to try and find like an eyeball or something. And then this fucking black spirit shadow bastard turns up looking around you and, oh and then like an alien type thing look, comes in. It just freaks me out. And the amount of times I had to prepare myself mm. to, to play this. Yeah. And it wasn't just that. It was like, oh, you've got to play this next horror game. And so my channel had turned into horror gaming basically yeah, yeah. and man the the 2d still shit me up but it was nothing like v vr vr is yeah. it's on another you used to come off sweating didn't you, sweating man? my tits off yeah. Yeah. yeah honestly and that's why i did twitch because i was like at least i can go onto twitch and people can come over and watch me play whatever yeah. call of duty yeah you know sea of thieves that's what i used it for i was like anything i don't want to put on the channel which is mm. primarily like horror game related i just do it on do it on there yeah. yeah. What's, what's your favorite horror game? Um, oh, I I am a fan of like the Outlast games. They were yeah, cool. yeah, yeah man. they were mental. Yeah. Well, the new one's going to be in VR. Aren't yeah, they? and it's going to be co-op as well, which I don't know if is going to have the same effects. I kind of like being on my own on that That's journey. The whole, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You end up just scaring each other, don't you? In exactly. Yeah. Um, fucking what's it? Um, what's mm. the one? The ghost hunting game VR. Oh, brain's gone um, blank. Uh, uh, um, starts with a P. Yeah. What? <laughs> what the hell? I can't remember I would that. Have, if you said me any other day, I would remember that. Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia. Yeah, it, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I've played that until I just cannot play it anymore. Yeah. It, to the point of where it's just like, oh. Yeah. But we used to scare each other all the time, right? Didn't we? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh mate. <laughs> I, I, there's two things: the grudge and the ring. Yeah. Uh, it just freaks me right out. Any of that Japanese fucking. Yeah. She like, kind of ruined horror. Oh. Now every ghost is a, you know, black hair, white dress. It's mm. all the same as Samara from The Ring. Yeah, but it yeah. freaks me out. Oh, it's terrifying. Did you ever play um, any of the Silent Hills? Yeah. I fucking love those, man. Yeah. And uh, the, the PT demo, do you remember that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The word is, is they're carrying on with it now. I've heard they're actually finishing it. Yeah, I've but heard. I'm so like, excited. I'm so exci that was genuinely like, yeah, that was terrifying. Yeah. With yeah. matey um, uh, from The Walking Dead, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was meant to be in the original one, uh -huh. um, but I think he's doing Death Stranding too now. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. I quite. Do you know what? I actually enjoyed that Death Stranding. Yeah. It was a bit of a fucking went know, on a bit too long, man. It did, it? but I love the soundtrack. Three hundred miles. That soundtrack was great. Low roar, wasn't yeah. it? Hideo yeah. Kojima is brilliant i used to be a fan of metal gear solid yes it's like my favorite series through the whole day i was like oh my god yeah he's i lost brilliant. interest after a couple of them yeah like i, I kind of after three mm. i was like it's not the same mm. you know and the storyline's a bit it's not yeah. you know like the original ones and but then the last of us came out and that kind of replaced it as my favorite game of all time yeah i do i i liked um splinter cell as well i love oh, oh yeah, yeah. The start. blacklist was my favorite yeah. yes yeah. yeah and then um there's blacklist and then what was the other one the uh um when you play the bat you could choose between the bad guy and the good guy do you remember that one was that the online mode like no spy versus... no it was um i can't remember now double agent Oh yeah, Double Agent. Yeah, yeah I didn't play was, that one. That, that was that an was... Xbox exclusive, so I was on PlayStation. I missed it. Oh right, PlayStation yeah. boy. Yeah. Wait, is that what? You, is that yeah, where yeah, you are? Yeah. Yeah. PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah. You've always yeah. been like that. Yeah. Always like PlayStation. That. Yeah. 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 So you didn't ever play Halos and things like that? No. No. What was the first console you had? Ever. Yeah. It's quite poor growing up, so I had to wait until I think it was I got I had a Mega Drive. That would have been my first. Yeah. 
And then a few years after the PlayStation 1 came out, that was my next one. Yeah. But I always used to go to my friend's house to play them like they had them, like because uh, we didn't have any consoles. But Take your memory card yeah. that was about that big. Yeah, literally. Oh, yeah, you sure. lost it. It was. Yeah. It, it's strange because... Um, you know, like this, oh, Xbox versus PlayStation. Yeah. Th 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 this shit's been going on for <laughs> fuck it, so many years. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid in, in, in my school, right, I had a Spectrum, mm. right, on a, a, a cassette tape, yeah. Spectrum 128K. And my mate had a Commodore 64. Yeah. And even back then, I was yeah, like, was rivalry. Spectrum graphics are much better than Commodore. <laughs> yeah, but the colors on Col Commodore 64 are so much better. It's yeah. crazy, isn't yeah, it? They... And I remember um, the, the, the biggest one was when Street Fighter 2 came out on the, I think it was the Snes. Master System and the Super Nintendo. Did it come out on the Master System? Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, and uh, the difference was they, they both looked identical, but um, Dal Sim's level and in the background... Um, on the Super Nintendo had th uh, six elephants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And on, the, and on the other console had four elephants. No. And that was, the, that, was that, the, was that was the game breaker. It was uh, like, yeah. well, Super Nintendo is better. Yeah. It's just four fucking elephants. better. <laughs> yeah. And when you think about it, especially nowadays more than ever, I don't get why people argue because we all get the same games. Yeah. yeah. And the Pretty graphics, much. they do these comparisons. It's like, I can't see yeah. no, a difference. You can't. And it all lies with exclusives, where I do think PlayStation has better exclusives, like God of War, Uncharted, yeah, Last yeah. of Us. Like yeah. we have a we have a lot more exclusives. You're looking forward to the movie, and they're making a movie, aren't they? Last of Us. Last, they're doing a HBO series. Yeah, oh, okay, and I'm that's like, I, I went to see the Uncharted movie because I love Naughty Dog. They're my favorite like game company, and oh, yeah. they just butchered. Even as a standalone film, I didn't. I haven't it. seen it. Yeah. Uncharted film. Oh, uh, yeah, I was, my kids uh, have seen it. They yeah, did the I typical, the like, let's, like they did with Resident Evil, let's take years' worth of games and not start from the beginning, let's just incorporate a bit of each game into yeah. one film. Right. And the timeline's all over the place. So I tried to watch it as not an Uncharted fan, just enjoy the film, because I knew it wasn't going to compete with the games, and it was still just awful. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't make any sense. So I'm really nervous. Uh, I'm glad it's got a series treatment, the last one. I feel like it needs that, right. rather than rushing all that amazing storytelling into yeah, one. Yeah, because then they could improve it for series yeah. two. And, yeah. yeah, and the cast, are, you know, it looks good. So I'm, I've got high hopes, but we'll see. I mean, I enjoyed The Last of Us, but I don't think, you know, it was... I mean, people ran and raving over there. I was just like, yeah, I, lo right. I do like games it's right. like that. Mate, but <laughs> yeah. Take it or leave it, it's all right. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's my favourite. I love mm. it. Yeah? So, yeah, it's brilliant. I've never been attached to characters uh, in a game the way I have The Last of Us. Like, I genuinely wanted to protect Ellie, mm. and I kind of felt what they were feeling, and it's never been never been done that way, I feel. I played the, re the most recent one. Yeah. It's the second one, isn't it? Is it? Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where, they, where, been two. where they killed Matey. Yeah. People went uproar about that, the way yeah. he was killed. Yeah, it was brutal. Yeah. It's hard to watch. Like, yeah. he's such a beloved character, but I kind of kind of thought that would be coming. Um, they needed to shock us and give Ellie motive to go on that. Spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been out a while. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. If you haven't played it, it's your fault. Yeah, if you, if, if, you can't be that much of a fan if you haven't played yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, no, I think, I think what, what is it? Is more so about a hero should really die in a hero heroic way, as opposed to just walking in a. Play well, I'm gonna literally spoil it even more now. <laughs> literally walking in and just getting beaten up to fight. Yeah, but that's the the world they're in. Like yeah, they got ambushed and mm. they found out his name and shot him in the leg with a shotgun. Yeah, brutal. Yeah, but they let the other two go. So you know they just wanted him for what he did in yeah. the first game, and I just. Um, I didn't really have any complaints. I think all the complaints that were coming in about that game were just, um, oh, they're just trying to force diversity on us. And they're just, I'm like, so what? The characters yeah. are great. Like, just enjoy the game. Yeah, man. When I played it, I was expecting to be sort of really, you know, affected by the game in in, in how the media is portraying it. I was just like, it's just a fucking game, man. Get yeah. over it. Yeah. Just enjoy it all. Yeah. 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 But that's how powerful the first story was. Like, it was. 2013 yeah. when that um when I played that and ever since then I needed that closure and a lot of people from that cliffhanger if you know how the last game ended what was the cliffhanger in number 1 again it was um cuz Joel um 
saved Ellie. Uh, he brought her to the Fireflies who wanted to operate because she had the cure in her. Oh, yeah. Because she was she got bit and she didn't change. Mm. Uh, so she was immune. Uh, but in order to find a cure, they would have to go deep into her brain and kill her. Uh, right. Joel, you know, he's already lost a daughter and he hated her at the beginning. He's like, I'm lumped with this kid. And he's he just sees her backpack when he's been escorted out and you feel what he's feeling. You've been protecting this girl the whole game. And he just turns, he kills everyone in the hospital. The doctor's staff there just shoots him and just takes Ellie away. And when she wakes up, he lied to her. He basically said, no, there's loads of people like you and there's no cure to be found. Right. Uh, but she kind of knew something was wrong. And at the end of the glass game, she was like, swear to me that, you know, what you told me about the fireflies was true. Mm. It was like, I promise. And she's like, okay. And it ends like that. And you can sort of see on her face, she knows, she knows he might be lying, right, yeah, yeah. something's not right. And you're, you're literally like 10 years mm. waiting mm. for that, you know, closure. And we finally got it. See, that's the difference in <clears> those <throat> games. I mean, you, you've got to have a good damn story to mm. make a good game. Yeah. You, you, graphics alone aren't. Yeah. Yeah. I've played, you know, games like Fall Guys, which isn't the most graphically, but it's just like Rocket League. <laughs> Yeah, fucking fuck. so right. fun. Game of luck. Fun. Yeah. Mate, no, 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 yeah. no. This is where you and me are going to disagree, mate. <laughs> right? Because that fucking, what is it? Full Rocket, guys. no, Rocket League. Rocket League. It's yeah. just a game of luck, mate. It's not, mate. Uh, nah, you got a skill. No, no, no. My yeah, boy's no. good at it, man. No. It does yeah, this, flips on all sorts of no, shit. No, it Crazy winds stuff. me up to fuck. <laughs> if you're playing with randoms and you've got a shit team, it's frustrating because you feel like you're, you know, doing all the work. And then there's no one in goal. It's like, why is no one in goal? Dude, but the thing is, yeah. everyone just fucking floats around like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Randomly <laughs> bumping into shit. But like, it takes skill oh, to goal. do that. Oh, goal! Yeah, that's why I stopped playing Fortnite, because I liked all the shooting stuff, but the building, like, you, you when you've got them in your sights, yeah. they should be dead first. Yeah. You start aiming at them, and then, like, 10 seconds later, they put a fucking summer house. Like, yeah, <laughs> they're just I there, know. and I'm like, wow, and I, I'm there with the <laughs> stairs, house. and I'm just like, right, where where should I put that? And I had a wall yeah. to protect me, and they just... I think the Can't. television should go there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're laying carpets, got an interior design in, like, what do but you they, want? They've taken that out now, haven't they? Yeah, well, I just did a, I just worked with them um, for the new um, buildless mode, or whatever it's called. Um, Daz, like, what the fuck else have you done, mate? Like, what the hell? <laughs> just what, like, so, uh, did you not say, well, can I get myself a skin? Is that why they took the build out? So yeah. Oh no no no! They already had right, the no, mode. Daz, Daz doesn't like the building. Right, we're taking it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wrote a lot of letters, and they finally listened. Sorry, Ben, I interrupted your question there. Mate. What was it? No, no, they didn't take it out because of me. Like no. Jesus, uh, they, they already had the mode, uh, but they wanted to advertise it. So they're like, "Will you, you know, mm. mention our game, uh, new game mode?" And yeah, I worked with Epic Games on that whole mode. It was much better when I played it as well. No building, you just yeah. shoot them. Because that's, that's, that, that annoyed me. Mm. Yeah. Because I was no good at it either, mate. That annoyed me. Mm. You just get these kids just go... Yeah. And you then, put one wall up. But, <laughs> and maybe a stair. But have you shed. seen that little meme where... Um, so, like someone is about... Someone shoots somebody and then he just... He flops out this chair, sits on it and watches them build this thing. And then once he gets out of the top, he just gets his sniper, just goes bang, and that's yeah. it. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's frustrating. It, it, yeah. I mean, for, for, the, for the person that built that skyscraper, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But, like, you know, you say about this opportunity of Fortnite, you know, um, Aquaman, mm. yeah? You're, yeah? You're clearly the, the stump double, right? For Aquaman? I'm Dwayne Johnson's stump double. That's it, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I went to... Um, <laughs> I wrote this sketch, uh, you know the movie Rampage he did? Yeah, yeah. They flew me out to, um, I love that where game. was it? Somewhere in America, I forgot where it was now. And they flew me to the set of the film and they b rebuilt downtown Chicago for this scene. It was one of the biggest movie sets I've been on. What? And I wrote this sketch that I'm Dwayne's stunt double. And I had a bald cap and everything. And <laughs> like, there, I was walking through the sets and then I did a scene with Dwayne at the end. Um, where I was just talking to him, acting like he was my friend, but he was just like, fuck away from me. I, you're just my stunt yeah, guy yeah, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. And uh, that was like the first time I worked with him. And he was, um, he's always so up for doing anything. And he's, he's busy. Yeah. He never sleeps, that man. Like, he's really? so busy. So I always like, I really appreciate it when these massive um, stars take time out to 
work with people like us. When when did these opportunities start hitting you, or did you did you push for them? Did you you know actually try to say right, I want to do that, and you reached out to people? Did they just come to you? And, and if they did, what what point? Well, they they did. They just these like Warner Brothers, Universal. They all just email me, uh, and I've got an agent and management as well, and it's they're always frustrated because. Um, they always go directly to me. And so you get all the money, and I, you get all the benefits. I said, well, often or not, they you don't get paid for these okay. opportunities. But for someone who wants to but be fun. in film, yeah, to work with you know some of the biggest names on the planet, sign me up. Yeah, like they'll they'll usually do accommodation, everything for you. They're really like really helpful. Um, but um, yeah, it's really a positive. Well, I mean, you must be. Do you get nervous when you meet in these? I people the first ones I did right off the bat um we did um Kevin Hart and Ice Cube down in Miami and <laughs> I've never really been much to London so this was one of my first things so uh and we actually got trapped in the elevator with Ice Cube um, no we, way we got stuck and he's he looks scary yeah. but it's all just put on for show yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a really funny guy and yeah we talked about it in the interview I think that was for Ride Along 2 oh, that yeah. they did and then off the bat of that, it just kept coming in, like um, Game of Thrones, everything. Uh, they threw us down to Belfast and got to meet the Game of Thrones cast and like wow. shoot in the original, um, where did they live, the Starks? I forgot their I haven't seen Game of Thrones. No, what? Well, that's I haven't. a new topic we're going to talk about. Mate. Yeah, <laughs> you got to yeah. see that. I know. Yeah, yeah, Winterfell, that's it, yeah. No, I've, not, I've not seen Winterfell. it Yeah. No. Yeah. After COVID, obviously, it all... You know, movie sets weren't, but it's getting back into mm. the flow now. So sorry, sorry for my ignorance, but what what actually were you involved with though? Um, well, they they usually want people for their audiences to so take like an influencer, and then you've got like a channel uh, with a big audience. They want you to. They usually want to do um, an interview. Oh, okay, kind of right, yeah. They yeah, just sort well, of... um, Jack Septicai does a, yeah, a few times. Yeah, yeah, and there's loads of people there on the day from different companies, channels, and they just get influencers to sit there, ask questions, put it on their channel. It's, you know, I mean, what, Jack's got nearly 30 million? That's yeah. advertisement you can't, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. get anywhere else. So we're, that's why they initially use us. And I've, I've done a few interviews. Um, like the last one I did, I think, was for the last... Jurassic Park, and I got to speak to the creature effects guys, and that was really cool. But I always want to do something more than just sit down and do because they do it all the time. Yeah, and they're creative people. Like uh, my favorite one we did, and he was so into it. Was I worked with? Um, I'm terrible with names. Ben's, you know, Jigsaw. Yes. Oh yeah. Toby Bell. Toby Bell. Yeah. We, he was at Thought Park doing interviews at the new Saw ride, like walk through experience. These are like proper built to spec like movie sets. Yeah. yeah. And they wanted me to do an interview. And I was like, let me just do like a ten minute sketch and then at the end he can be jigsaw. So he was so pumped. Like he'd been interviewing all day and he was like, this. Something different. This is, an, it's like, you, you expect him to be an evil old man, but he's like yeah. really sweet. And he yeah. was like, he was so excited. He wanted to be like a big part of it. Yeah. And um, I find they prefer to do that uh, yeah. on their time off than just sit there and answer the same, same boring questions. Yeah. 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 We did the sketch where I was an idiot in a jigsaw trap. We had the doll, like Billy, like rolled in. And <laughs> I was like eating all the donuts that he put out and shit. And I like, pissed him off. And then I escaped my hand got chopped off and <laughs> and then Tobin was there in the last room and he was just like you make me sick fuck yeah. off like, <laughs> I was like okay I'm gonna there's leave there's a key behind your eyeball yeah <laughs> he, he just he was done with me yeah. and um, yeah he wanted to do more he was like this is so much fun like uh, and, that, and ever since then I've just wanted to do sketches mm. uh, for the films rather than just um, interviews I feel it's, it's a lot more fun and it gets more views yeah man. people People want to see like you work. They see me working with these people, and they're like, "Wow, that's amazing collaboration." Yeah. And that's all it is. It's a collaboration. It's no different if two YouTubers were to reach out together and yeah. work together. So yeah, it's good fun. You want to get into like doing short films and stuff, don't you? You always, you always, he's always telling me about ideas he's got, yeah. but we've yeah. never actually done it yet. Yeah, but it would be really good. Yeah, you're so creative minded, mate. You could easily. do I love stuff it, like mate. That. I do love it, but it's the time. You it know, it is the time. It, it, takes, it takes a lot of time. It does take. I've been. Uh, I've done loads of little scripts and stuff, but I've been working on one for the past year, mm. um, which hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, we're going to pitch to Netflix. 
So we'll oh, see how that right. goes. So it, it, that's really just how it starts. Having an idea mm. and then just not writing it or yeah. doing it or finding it. If you don't know how to do it, just go learn. Go yeah. do it. Um, you know, what, what is it? Acting or directing that you want to do? Acting. Or? Just be, yeah, just being in front. I can, I can do all of it. I've not got much fit. I just don't think about it. I just fucking do it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I love acting. I love, like I say, I love showing off. Yeah. So I think I have lots of great ideas but it's a needing the person to say, okay, well, we need to do X, Y, and Z then, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. But if a camera's on me and says, oh, Ben, can you do that? Yeah, yeah. Well, fuck it, let's go, yeah. you know? Because yeah. even in school, it was like, oh, I need a volunteer for the stage. I'm up with yeah. my hand, you know? Yeah. I've been like it since day one. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's just... I'd love to do something like that. You I'll, know? Have to get you, I'll have to get you on board on one of the short Dad, films. Mate, so. Honestly, my, my heart just skipped a beat there when you said that, man. Honestly. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Be amazing. Yeah. So what's the next step? I mean, is it going to be YouTube for the foreseeable future? Is it is that your goal, like say, to just, be in the movies? And I just, um, after a while, um, you kind of feel like you've hit a creative ceiling. Like, mm. you can just keep going up in followers, which is great. Uh, which is why I branched out to, you know, um, filmmaking and the ghost hunts and doing new things. Uh, not that I'm bored with it. I see these YouTubers earning ridiculous sums of money going, I just need a break. And I'm like, you, f <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking hell. I take the piss out of him all the time, Dad, because I work nine to five. <laughs> yeah. and I ring him sometimes. He goes, oh, man, I've been so busy. Yeah. It's like, man, you have no fucking, you've forgotten. That's why In I, a year, I, you have forgotten <laughs> what the real world's yeah. like. I just never have a, a schedule either. Like every video is every Wednesday. Like because if I want to take a week off doing it, mm. I'll do it because it's still a hobby to me. I, I I get what you're saying, but I I still have that fear, and I think it's because you know uh, I'm a little bit older than you, and like most my, well all my life I've been working like yeah. nine to five, and. I feel like I, I have to, in a way, treat it like a job mm. and be very, I can't take a day off because it could all slip away. Yeah. That fear of it just all slipping away um, and all going wrong yeah. and I have to go back to nine to five. And, yeah. You know. Because, you want to do what you love. I want to do what yeah. I love. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And, you know, I, I, I love doing the videos. Mm. Uh, that's I just love doing it, and yeah, it, it just makes me feel good. It, it makes me feel. It sounds really cheesy. Complete. Yeah. You know, it, I, I've I've got that purpose, and that's what it is. And one of the things as well, I'm sure you like to a massive extent, is um, what makes me feel good is getting the odd messages here, the emails saying how much you know you've met, helped them mm. through difficult yeah, times yeah. and things like that. You must get that in thousands of yeah. emails every I have like things set up uh, with my agency where we can reroute them based on what they're saying, whether it's like self-harm or depression or anything like that. We can reroute them to the best organizations for them. And it's sent in a way like it's sent from me, but obviously I can't respond to them because one i get too many yeah and two i'm not a therapist i don't know what makes people with problems look yeah. at my videos and say he can help <laughs> yeah because <laughs> i'm i'm a twat like i can't but the thing is i think because you portray such positivity i think it's distraction yeah. i think like we all like growing up i used to just put lee evans on or something mm -hmm. and just Same yeah as well. something to make you laugh <laughs> and evans, i totally yeah. get that like it's distraction uh, anything that can distract you from what you're going through is a good thing. And that's why I always say to them, just, you know, I'm glad I could be that for you. And, I, and they, they do it for me as well. Like, yeah. um, I was in a very bad place before Vine. And when I started getting all these new followers and I didn't have any room in my head for anxiousness or depression because I was thinking of new ideas and what things I could film, it just filled my head. And so it works both ways. Mm. You know, I, like I say, a lot of YouTubers, I, I'm not judging, but... If they're feeling down, they'll need to take a break. And that's good. That's how they handle it. I I want to turn the camera on and do more. Yeah. Like, because yeah. that's my escape is getting into a game, talking to myself, yeah. um, which I think a therapist would say is probably not a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, it, it helps. So it's, um, I tell them back so to what, their face. What, you went through difficult times before yeah. YouTube, was it? Or? Yeah, yeah. Before, like I was having, um, before Vine, for years, I'd say about three years, I was I was having like panic attacks like five six times a day. Wow, yeah. really? Yeah, it was it They're was horrible, weren't they? Right? It was awful. Yeah, you feel like you're gonna die. Yeah. Or, I went through it, and uh, yeah, it just it gets to a point where you're like, 
is if this is life, is it kind of worth it? You kind of start asking those sort of questions. Yeah, that's bad. And uh, that's when Vine sort of came along. It came along when I was having a really bad day and I just mm. started filming with my daughter. Mm. And I imagine having that many panic attacks a day and then not having them anymore. After about a couple of months of doing Vine, I had to stop and think, I've not had a panic attack now for what do you think two was, months. What do you think it was bearing those on then? Um, oh, it was just like a disorder. I, I think it was because I had like a death in the family oh, okay. and the, the the stuff I went through in my childhood, like with bullying and stuff, it just, I think it has like a delayed effect with those things. I always tell people like, you, Comes you're out in other hurt ways. now and you may feel fine, but like yeah. 10 years down the line, it's yeah. like, yeah. You, yeah. You'll, you'll snap. So yeah. always deal with it, uh, you know, in your own way. But yeah, I think it just triggered from all of that um, and sort of holding it in for years. And then it just came out in floods. And then Vine, obviously, um, was a distraction. Yeah. Like, it kept me off of thinking of all yeah. these, you know, things like health anxiety. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm very grateful for Vine. That's why I got the tattoo. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah, man. yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's where I started. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm very grateful for, for Vine. And do you find as well, because I've, I've been having conversations with Mace a little bit, that um, when uh, you, you probably have to take your mind quite far back now, but for me, I feel that when you start succeeding in certain things, mm. other things become less impossible to achieve. Yeah. You know, and then it snowballs and you think, actually, I'm going to do it. For example, um, this this podcast, some people would be like, oh, that's big, man. Like, you know, it's a lot of investment and things like that. I was like, no, it's yeah. fine. But before YouTube, I probably would have been like, and I know you say the financial side of things, but I, I feel like I can take on a lot more now mm. than maybe what I was beforehand because I've just got the confidence to say, fuck it, let's go, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. It's, not, it's, not, it's not just confidence though, Ben, is it? It's not just confidence, mate. It's comfort. It's, it's, if, you, if you've got the money, it gives you opportunities to do this. No, I think If you haven't got the money, you, yeah. you think of something like this mm. and you think, right, how am I going to get three grand yeah. to set something up like this? Yeah. What have I got to do? But, I've got to sell my bike. Yeah, I could sell, you know. But no, if, no, I, I, I. It wasn't just about that. I see it in a, more of a mindset because the, the okay, no, it is a mindset. But financial. One, if you might have the right mindset, no, no. if you haven't got the financials, you can't do fuck all about it. Absolutely. But there's one thing: setting it up and getting the equipment. That's one thing. Mm. But the next thing would be okay. Who's going to come on? Yeah. Are people yeah. Are just going to look at you and just go fuck off. Yeah. Mm. You know. Yeah. But my attitude was no. They will. It will happen. Yeah. And you've done it, it. will succeed. Yeah, yeah, you're getting people. You know? I think it's uh, I think it's um, a double-edged sword. Like, both of you are kind of right in the sense that all my family um, are just bred to believe Tuesday is shopping day, you know, <laughs> Sunday is roast dinner day. And then, you know, you get a job, doesn't matter if you don't like it, just pay your bills and die. And I'm just like... <laughs> thanks, Dad. Yeah. Cheers, man. I'm like, no. Like, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I went from job to job to job, like, and I was just not happy doing what I was doing. So, um, obviously, I pursued what I was doing uh, with something in the background, like the building work. And when it finally started, I, I left. You know, I, I don't believe in just <coughs> cutting everything loose and chasing your dream mindlessly because that could do a lot of damage. But it also um, comes into what you're saying, like financial wise. Like, I, my earliest videos, um, I was sat in a wardrobe. And I would literally have to, I had no PC, I had no equipment, nothing. Mm. All I had was my PlayStation. Yeah. And um, my mic was a broken like Apple <laughs> headset piece, which I filmed on my iPod, which was my um, face cam. Yeah. And my laptop barely worked. I, I was getting about two hours of sleep a night for like a year because I had to, the rendering speeds and my upload speeds, oh, everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was poor as shit. So I had nothing and I had to do that for the first two years of my YouTube. Shit. Wow. And so it does come into play where like you can do it if you don't have the finances. There are ways around like doing mm. a part. You don't have to have the best equipment, the best setup. Like yeah. this is fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but thanks, like you, you don't need that for people to watch. Like I've had friends that have tried their, you know, luck in it and they're, they're like, oh, I, I can't do it because mm. my laptop makes my legs hot. And I'm like, I was in a wardrobe <laughs> for a year. <laughs> laptop makes my yeah, legs like, hot. Yeah, like, I was like, what are you, like, that's not an excuse. <laughs> like, you, you gotta, you know, if you want it, you do it. Like, yeah, yeah. And my girlfriend as well, I'm gonna big her up on here. She quit her job. She was working like a retail uh, camera shop. And, you know, she, 
she wanted to do this archaeologist and most people when they're near their 30s would be like oh it's too late it's too... that's not what she sounds like <laughs> oh, yeah. I do that too late no, no. it's too late it's, it's too late put that wife voice on yeah, yeah you know yeah I'm not talking to you <laughs> oh, yeah God. and she's out there she's she's think no I'm not too old um, I'm gonna go do it and she's nailing it she's doing yeah. everything she's achieved she's travelling um, and yeah she's got fuck all money either like it's yeah. so if, if you've got that mindset uh, do it but just be realistic about it I feel yeah. a lot of people get into I think YouTube's different you know you forget the you in YouTube I think that matters like mm. you said earlier I think maybe people watch me because of my personality it's because I genuinely enjoy it yeah. but a lot of people get into it and they're like it's very Bland, it's like, yeah, hey guys, you can smash tell, like they just copy. You can tell straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Smash, the light smash, straight smash straight. it up, like, yeah. yeah. Before they've even watched the video, by yeah, the way, yeah, that's a yeah. pet peeve of mine. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, subscribe, put the reminders on. I was like, I don't know yeah. who you are. I, like, I, yeah. I better stop doing that. Yeah, I'm joking. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> put it at the end, like I after. Do. I do. Yeah. And sometimes I, I, I not even do that because I yeah. just think if somebody wants to subscribe, the only thing I um, think about sometimes is a lot of people still think. That subscribing is some is paying, yeah, you know, yeah. or like, oh, I can't subscribe. I, can't, I you know, what am I subscribing to? Type yeah. thing, you know. But uh, no, I right at the very end. But I know what you mean. Yeah, well, it's like going to the cinema. Imagine the cinema, and they were like, leave a review of the film. <laughs> Like you've not seen it, yeah. <laughs> you can't go and see it's the film. True, it's yeah. true. And have everyone yeah. put, and it's like two minutes of them, you know, bigging themselves up and like this. I'm yeah. like, I will. Just what are you on? What are you on about? Like, what's your channel? And uh, I've I've never done that. Like, if you've enjoyed it, they'll do that anyway. That's yeah. it. Yeah. 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 What do you think is uh, like? Is is there some videos that you've got which you're really proud of? Which you just think I, I love that. Maybe not the highest views, but you just think I absolutely love recording that, watching that. So yeah, I love the reactions and and the fans. They'll they'll keep giving me quotes, and to them, it's it's like you know when you watch. Uh, did you watch the Friends reunion? Yes. yes. And like the presenter, we're all fans. We've watched them. We remember all the best bits. Yeah. And they, they say it to the cast. To them, it's just a job. Yeah. And they're very grateful for it, but it's, it's just a job. And they, they all say, oh, when Rachel said that, and she's like, she can't remember it. And I'm the same. Like they come to me, they're like, oh, Daz, you know, when you shouted that out, and I'm like, what video was that? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So for that, it's just a hobby that I do and I upload for people to see. Mm. So in terms of proud of, I don't feel like I'm creating anything. That's just turn a camera on yeah. and that's just me. Um, but <coughs> definitely uh, like the Jigsaw sketch I mentioned, that's one of my favorite short films I've made because uh, it's, you know, horror icon. I got to work with him. Like, um, And one of my most recent ones, uh, I did a series called Jurassic Park Scientists where there's like these two scientists that work at Jurassic Park and they're pointing out how shit everything is, but no one's really listening to them and it keeps happening again and again and again. And uh, we rented out this massive location, like this big mansion uh, for the third and final one. And that was great. Like I brought on all my cinematographers, everything, and we, we just filmed it all in a day. And it looks great. I'm very proud Bro, of that. Oh, my silver dog. I know, mate. Yeah. Like, have you, you got a big, big team you then, have you? Like, I, I got a production company, yeah. So what's that called? Uh, Blackmore Productions. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. When did you start that up? Uh, I started it up as sort of like a limited company, um, and it's tied into all the YouTube stuff. And my goal with that is off the back of that, just to, you know, not disappear from YouTube. I'm going to do that forever. Yeah, I think yeah, I yeah. think that's something I can do no matter what. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm writing more bigger professional things like i say i'm now writing netflix. for hopefully get something on netflix mate and... if you get on netflix that's the man, end goal how that's cool the end goal well yeah because it's like i I feel like i've i can keep going up and following but um uh, i need to without sounding cheesy i need to feel like i'm achieving mm -hmm. yeah um and although i still am achieving i want to achieve something new so my new goal now after you know doing my next tour is to make something and it be on a streaming platform. Yeah, you know, I don't care which it's one. Just progression in you, yeah. in yourself, and it sounds again, it sounds cheesy, yeah. but it, it, this is half the reason why I wanted to do a podcast as well yeah. on a different channel because it's just something else. Yeah. I love talking, love meeting people, love hearing amazing stories. Yeah, and Christ, you've got some amazing stories. Right? <laughs> like, you. I mean, <laughs> do you think that? Um, a lot of your subscribers know all these sort of things that you I mean, you all have the and... things I've, I've uploaded, a lot of the stories I've told you. Um, but, 
behind the scenes, there's loads they probably don't know that I'm up to. Go on, um, go on. Go on. <laughs> go on. <laughs> um, so I'm looking into an app as well, like making an app. Right. Um, I... Wait, can, you, can you can you can you talk about the app? Um, I someone, can't. I can't no, talk no, about no, it. Someone will no, take it, would it? Yeah, someone will steal this app. Yeah, so I'm gonna apps can be made like that. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. It's a very. I think it's a very good idea. We're very excited about it. Um, so stuff like that. I'm always, you know, having meetings about. Um, there's a potential. I can't say with who, but someone's offered me um, a talk show like on TV. So we're, what? We're, yeah, we're gonna see how that that nice. transpires. Um, yeah, just stuff like that. Holy Fucking exciting, shit, man! Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Which I think will be great because obviously in the position I'm in, like I can bring in people from social media and yeah. like bring like larger people into the into the show. So we'll see how that goes. I'd love to. I love my own talk show. That'd be insane. Oh, mate, you're yeah. really good at it. Yeah. yeah. Well, how would your talk show be different to anybody else's? I would you do the the stereotypical. You know, <laughs> Yeah, just my own desk. That's a good one, John. <laughs> yeah. Do you know who's my favourite talk show host? Is Graham Norton. He's, yeah, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. his he's show. Really Very good. relaxed. I love that atmosphere. You just sat together with yeah. like friends, and they're just having a laugh. Mm. Yeah. And uh, that's the kind of vibe I'd want to go for. Yeah. But I'd also want to like um, bring a little bit of what I do into the show. Like, if I had my own talk show, I'd have a segment where. Uh, the audience would call out things, uh, and we, if I'm, if they're actors or whatever, um, we would have to like do improv off of like an like someone shouts goldfish, and that's how it has to start. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, um, whose line is it anyway? Whose yes, line is it anyway? Mate, yeah. That was class. With the hands yeah. and shit with the. Yeah. And there's no one really doing that, so no. like I'd add little fun things in like that into it. If they're singers. We'd like let them listen to a bit of a song and they would have to improvise a song or just yeah. something like that debuts their talent and just, mm. just fun. Like, You'd be great at that, mate. Yeah. You'd be yeah. fantastic at that. We'll see what happens. We'll see if anyone like wants to offer me it. Yeah. 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 I saw yeah. something on TV late the other night. I can't remember who it was, but there's a couple and I'm sure they started podcasting yeah. and now they've got a TV um, series. It was yeah. on like midnight. Can't remember who it was, but it was really good. It was a husband and wife, yeah, and it was just different. And yeah. the show was fucking ace. I, I yeah. enjoyed watching it. It was something different. And often a lot of those things, that, like you say, they start from an idea, yeah, and you don't know until yeah. you go out and do it. So, yeah. well done for like all this. This is amazing, guys. Oh, like, cheers, man. Yeah, cheers. It's good to see it doing well. But um, thanks for you... coming on, mate. Yeah. No, thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, I think my second podcast i did uh holly h i did her podcast um first but yeah this is like my first proper visit we yeah. did that over zoom so this is essentially my first oh, in-house nice. podcast yeah oh wicked exclusive yeah. it does exclusive. it does exclusive <laughs> but like you um you you stay out of like you know the youtube drama yeah yeah you know when's mm. you when's the boxing match coming up oh christ <laughs> i did boxing growing up and i quit because i didn't like getting hit um, I'm not a fighter, so no, I don't know. I think um, I can't knock it, no pun intended, <laughs> <laughs> because they've made a, a, a dynasty out of this. Yeah. It's uh, a lot of people say, "Oh, you're not real boxers; you're just cashing in on it." And I'm like, "Yeah, they are." Mm. Like, you know, e everyone they take else it. has got a job. Yeah, they, you know, all boxers have a job at some yeah. point in time. But that's know? what I feel like those type of influencers do. They mimic what's popular yeah. at the time like with the Conor McGregor and um Jake Paul no Jake Paul wants to fight Conor McGregor yeah he? he's he's trying to stir up which is really dumb <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. isn't there a rumour about Logan Paul and Mike Tyson yes or Jake Paul and Mike Tyson uh no Jake Paul uh let me get this right imagine yeah. if that shit happens Tyson would just nail him well he hasn't the argument is, is he's not for a um, a, proper, a proper boxer. Yeah. They're either retired. Eddie Hearn said that, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, like Eddie Hearn said, fight yeah. a boxer now in yeah. his prime, yeah. winning matches, and yeah. But you know, I I don't like Jake really, but I respect his ability. He is naturally ability. Yeah. He's got a good punch on yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't like to get in a yeah. ring with him. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I wouldn't last ten no. seconds. I just fucking ramble. Oh, yeah. you might. Oh yeah, he just yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I think the, the 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 next big fight is going to be KSI versus. Well, he's announced he's um, savvy. Yeah, yeah, he's going to get back into it, and 
Like, look at him. Like, look at his body transformation. He yeah. literally, you know, puts the work in. Like, he does. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. you Wasabi do on that? Fort Deji. Fort Deji. Yeah. Oh, so his brother's gonna go and beat him up. Yeah. No way. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Okay. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. The next. That's why I want to. I want to get um, Deji on here next. Ah, Deji. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, because we sort of know each other, so I wanna wanna try yeah. and get him on here. And I went to his fight. He invited me to his fight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which turned out to be a complete nightmare to get in and everything like that. The yeah. actual production side of it just sort of flopped a yeah. little bit. But um, no, it'd be interesting to see because I think like KSI, he um, he he's got that approach, doesn't he? Yeah, whatever he does, he it just ends up in his music career, his YouTube, and obviously his yeah. boxing and stuff like yeah. that. But. The thing is, is boxing, he's been out of it for quite some time, hasn't he? Yeah. You know? He used to box. Yeah. I did growing up, yeah. Like, yeah. and I did, like, ninjutsu. And, you know, just because, you know, when you're being bullied, you're like, yeah. I'll show them. Yeah. But then you yeah. realize it's, you're just getting beaten up by other people who know what they're doing. And it's, uh, yeah, it was, it was... So you actually got physically beaten up, did you, by bullies? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Christ. Um, Like, my school, in the end, it just got closed down because it was just so... And they built like an academy there now. Um, it was down in Hastings. It was, yeah, it was really, really bad. What was yeah. it? A rough school was it? it was, yeah, it was a really rough school. Like I, I got shot in my school. What? Like, yeah, what? yeah, literally. It was not like a real all, all gun. The, oh, I was gonna say all yeah. the Americans are now going. I thought UK <laughs> don't have guns. <laughs> oh, we had a gun. Yeah, it was one of those um, CO2 metal ball bearing oh, like guns, the BB gun which are types. no real different from a real fucking gun. Like they, <laughs> yeah. they're fucking yeah. crazy, mate. They come out. They do like three hundred odd feet yeah. per second. Yeah, and it's only because it hurts. hit my rib um, that it didn't go through me. Shit, it got expelled. Yeah, bastards. Yeah, yeah. Fucking eight bullies. Yeah. yeah, I do, mate. I do. I can't it was a <laughs> spit on him, mate. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's nothing worse. Yeah. So you learn naturally growing up in a rough place, you you know, you say, go learn how to defend yourself yeah. and stuff. But um, I didn't like it. No, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I think every, I think is a, um, there's different extents, but I think every kid gets bullied in some sort of way. I mean, I did kickboxing when I was younger. You know, I love yeah. that. I did that for six years. Be- like, f- fantastic thing. And it did a lot, it did a lot of good for me, you know? Yeah. But bullying is, it, it is, it's something that I, I think is tougher now, like for bullies in yeah. schools because they're so, like my kid, he, he gets, you know, detention and stuff for something stupid, like stupid yeah. things. Yeah. And uh, what are your kids like? Do they get detentions and stuff? Yeah, he's pretty good to be fair. Yeah, well, fuck you then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know if he has, mate. I don't know if no, he has. Like, like, he's in year one. Like he's though, late for ben. school you know for I mean? yeah, yeah. yeah. One, he's it? late for school for like a minute, a minute, and he'll get a detention. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think Jack has for not wearing his tie. Yeah, this is he what I'm saying. Like, he forgot his tie one day, and rather than someone fucking lend him a tie, he's right, right, detention. It's like, oh, come on, man. Yeah. I, I, my my daughter, she her school is, and she's really never had a detention. She's such a goody two shoes. Everyone likes her. <laughs> and she, at the moment, she has a problem with her foot. It rolls inward and she rolls the shoe like she'll deform the shoe and just walk like that on her foot. And we're trying to get it fixed. And the only shoes that keep her legs straight, because I'm worried about her spine and her. Right, she's yeah, had a dislocated yeah. knee already. Don't say and Clarks. Oh, no, Don't not say Clarks. Cl- oh, ne- never. Fucking hell, no. God. no. Nike, Nike um, the Nike. Um, <laughs> These ones, what are they called? No, not those ones. Um, the, you know, like the white standard Nike Air Forces. Yeah, yeah. You just get them in JD Sports. Yeah. Like, they are the only shoes that she wears that doesn't let her foot roll over. No way. Um, so I'm like, whilst we're figuring this out, if we need to put something in a shoe or she needs to have an x-ray, like she's going to be wearing these shoes. And the school are like, yeah, but they're not black. I'm like, yeah, but... It's not affecting yeah. her math, is it? Like yeah, what's on her yeah. foot? Like just it's and they complain. Condition. Yeah, they, like they it's can't. for her health, and yeah, I yeah. have to keep writing a note like every day to send her in with. And I'm just like, Jesus. How old is your daughter? She's 15 this year. Wow. Yeah. My son's 14, and my daughter's four. Wow. So I'd imagine your daughter, all of her friends <laughs> that want to meet you. Yeah, like, um, she's quite popular at school because, you know, every time I pick her up, the kids are always really sweet. Um, But, yeah, they're always questioning her, like, trying to give her stuff. And, yeah, I'm like, just only accept them if they're, like, cakes and just bring them home to me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Be laced with something. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be yeah. Careful. Poison me. Yeah. Would, would you um, would you ever contemplate moving abroad, living abroad? Because you you travel quite a lot. I've don't travelled you? around. I, I should be going to Egypt in August, oh, uh, which is cool. And then at the end of August to Croatia. Like I just travel has always been something. I want to see all the wonders and. One of the trips where I like reunited with my girlfriend was in the Amazon. Um, we went down to Colombia, did all Colombia, traveled down to this remote village, and we went up three hours up the Amazon River on this boat, and we just docked in the middle of nowhere. And nice. We stayed wow. in this old like hospital place. It was, it was crazy. So um, after being to these places, uh, I think one of my favorite places was Langkawi in Malaysia. It's just this little island in the middle of nowhere. And I definitely see me retiring somewhere warm and, you know, by the beach, you mm, know, yeah. just me and my dog. And like when my daughter's grown up and doing her own thing, yeah. um, cause I can always, I'll always have a place back here in yeah. the UK to come back to, um, definitely somewhere warm. I'm still, my mind is still set on like either South America or South Asia or something like that. So, oh, okay. No, yeah. But only when you retire. So you wouldn't take YouTube over. I mean, obviously you can take that anywhere you like, but you know what I mean? You yeah. Move somewhere and still do, like what bloody PewDiePie did. He's moved to Japan now, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he has, yeah. 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 I think I would, d d depending on like, because he said that the nightmare was, you know, it took him three years to three get years, yeah. that arranged. And if he could, know what he knows now he wouldn't have done it and yeah. it can be the same with a lot of these other places so depending mm. on like visas and things like that yeah but i think i'm gonna go somewhere warm yeah. australia yeah been australia i've been to australia you like australia yeah. oh it's, it's 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 wonderful i just can't handle the wildlife out there yeah oh, everything mate. wants yeah. to fucking kill you don't it <sighs> i'm so, so, <laughs> such a pussy yeah same man <laughs> i looked up this log we were walking in the woods in australia and i looked up this log with my camera take a photo and then i'm fucking looking on the back of the screen and there's all these like giant spiders inside yeah. this fucking log, mate. I couldn't yeah. see them at the time. Yeah. Imagine that just jumping yeah. on your face, yeah. like a fucking huntsman or something. Yeah. <laughs> Lay an egg in your mouth. Well, I, I went there with that all in my head. Like I was like, and I was trying, I was like, I'm not this gonna let the internet scare me. And when I got into my hotel room, I was like looking at the view. And because this was, again, this was for the Aquaman thing. It's the only time I've ever oh, been to right. Australia. Yeah. And I turned around and there's a huntsman spider on my wall Fuck. and it's like this is bigger than your hand yeah mate and they jump and they jump they? and they're Jesus. venomous and i'm like and i'm just like <laughs> i'm shitting myself and i remember going around my room like you know because i'm like i don't know if it's, it's gonna jump if it's gonna you sleep, slap yeah. me like yeah like and lay an egg in your ear i picked up yeah in my ear or in your mouth apparently <laughs> <laughs> i picked up the phone and i called the front desk and you know they were like you know good day like what's you know what's going on like what can we do for you and I'm like, there's a spider in my room. I was like, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm freaking out. Like, you know. <laughs> Mate, you're in Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, they were just like, oh, you know, what species is it? And I'm like, I'm not fucking David Attenborough. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know what, I said, it's big. I said, I'm sure it's poisonous. I don't know. I'm not from here. I don't know what to do. Keep so what do you do? You're awake. Like, yeah, yeah. Walking yeah. along the wall. No, nah, like, he's a response to me. He's like, they're, honestly, they're like any other spider. You just crack them with a magazine. Fuck that. And they drop like the rest of them. And I said to him, I was like, it's fucking reading one. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge and he laughed as I don't I'm like I'm genuinely scared right now like it's and they sent someone up with a little Tupperware box and he just like that and yeah. captured it and walked off and I said to him how how am I going to sleep like how am I going to yeah. sleep and he was like just close your eyes like and I'm like <laughs> fuck that mate it, the, to them it's normal they yeah. don't see you know yeah. I see that shit when I go to the zoo like yeah. it's behind yeah. glass <laughs> yeah. normally when I see yeah. it and it was like that everywhere I went I had an encounter like that it was a nightmare and like snakes as well um no snakes I had like um I was <laughs> I was kayaking I thought let's let's get out there we did the shoot with Jason and then MTV this woman from MTV was like we do gonna do this like kayaking thing where we meet a kayak instructor and we go out on the ocean and we go to this like man-made island and then we cross it and we do like scuba diving the other side of it. It's like a nice. whole activity. And they were like paying for it. So I was like, okay. Um, and we went down there, we had an instructor and he he sounded like the turtle from Finding Nemo. It's like, oh dude, <laughs> I saw it. You were like, whoa, and yeah. I was like, whoa. So he, he was off his head. He wasn't explaining anything. And I got my own uh, kayak because, you know, I'm the fat one. You can't just, you have like a special kayak for fat people and then normal people get twos. So he was like, you get a special dude. What? I was like, I know what you're saying. I'm the fat one. I get it. I get it. All right. I'm going to, I'm just going to. 
poor dad. Yeah, and I'm in the kayak and I'm loving it. I'm loving life. I can see to the bottom. Everything is amazing. And there, you know, he's obviously gone because he's, you know, been kayaking since the womb. Like he's literally <laughs> off. And I'm on my own, but I'm like, I know where I'm going. I see the island, you know. And every now and again, I kept feeling like a on my shoulder. Right. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, it's not raining. It's out of the paddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after a while, I looked down in the uh, ocean and like every square inch was filled with jellyfish. Oh, no. And I'd been scooping them up, <laughs> <laughs> landing on me. Yeah. No. With my paddle. And they'd been hitting me and it was on the boat. And I, I, I shit in that kayak. I was like really scared. And did I they, took. Did they sting you? Um, well, I was shouting out for the um, instructor because obviously he knows, but he's gone. You must have been like Slimer coming the end. Yeah. All these, like, I was like, if I go in, I'm dead. I'm going to die because it is literally, they're just compacted. Shit. And so I took my time. I was just paddling really yeah. slowly. I was so, so scared. And I got to the island and I was so angry. I was, like, I was full of fear. I was like, why the fuck? Where did you go? I'm he's just like, dude, it's saw, dude, it's fine. And <laughs> I was like, it's not. I said, the jellyfish, fuck it, everyone. And he walks up to the ocean. He was like, oh, these little guys. And he picks it up and squeezes it. Like, apparently they're harmless. Oh, right. They don't oh, do shit. And he's just, scary though, mate. Yeah, and I'm like, if you were there to, to coach me, I, I could have said, ah, oh, great. They're not harmless. I would have enjoyed it. Ah, oh, oh. worst kayaking oh, experience mate. of my life. Yeah, that, that was the same everywhere. Yeah. Did you go? Did you go scuba diving? Come the end. We did, and again, like, I, and I said to him, I was like, "Listen, what what is in that ocean? What what am I going to encounter?" He's like, "Dude, it's fine." I was like, "You said that last time." And the jellyfish. I was like, "Just don't swim off. Like, yeah, stay yeah, with me. me." And we all stayed together, and we went out. We put the wetsuits on, and everything, and we're taking underwater pictures. And I'm now relaxed. Fish swimming everywhere. I'm like, "Oh, this is." It's amazing. It is amazing. Though. It's so scuba, amazing. Scuba diving. Oh yeah, I've especially with my... the wildlife out there and the, the coral. Yeah. And the, yeah. I, it's it's stunning, and we're quite a way out, you know, treading water as well. Mm. Like, um, and he's like, "All right, you know, dudes, we got, we got to go back in now because, like, I see some bull sharks over there, and and I, I I'm just sort they're of vicious. As yeah, shit. they're like they will kill you. They'll eat anything. Yeah. yeah, and I and I I, I was looking kayak at kayak and all. I was just like I I told I fucking told you like what <laughs> yeah. what is in the and you were like it's fine <laughs> and now there's bull sharks near us and I remember swimming back and I was swimming so hard and fast my suit opened at the back. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. water was sinking Jesus in, and Christ. yeah, I nearly swam out of my suit, like, and I was done. I swam out of my suit. I was done. No, no, oh, bull man. sharks. Yeah, Fuck. so no. that was it. That was it for me. That's so, one of my fierce sharks, mate. Yeah, yeah, in the sea like that, like mm. when you're abroad like that. Yeah, yeah, mate. What, I wouldn't know what to do facing one. Well, a shot punch it in the nose. Oh yeah, that's so what they say. That's the it? first thing you do when you see a twenty foot yeah. great white, isn't it? They're like, oh, if a bear's so, uh, coming at you, just like, come on, stand your fetal, ground. No, like, fetal fuck no. Are you supposed to go in the fetal position? You're supposed to lay yeah. on your front, mate, and cover your head with your hands. Yeah, and oh, play okay. dead. Yeah, if a bear starts attacking you. Yeah, because they just rip you apart until you die. Do you know what? Funny you should say that because I saw, um, I think it was a TikTok video, and you know when you see bears, you think, yeah, they're they're, they're big, you know. And then you see them scratching up a tree. You go, yeah, they're big. Yeah. I saw a guy. You know, some people have big heads. Yeah. You know when you look at somebody, you go, he's got a really big fucking head. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a fucking big head. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he was he was playing around with this bear, right? So that's going, and he had a big head. And this bear, no, big fucking say. grizzly, was just like. <laughs> And his nose, not his snout, his fucking nose, his nostrils were as big as this dude's head. Yeah. They're huge. No way. I thought he was going to say the no, bear, like, the nostrils were as big head. as this guy's head. I was like, holy shit, these things are massive. I'll tell you what, I was in, I was in Oregon when I was last in the States. Have you ever seen an elk? No. no. Like a moose? No. Do, do you My have... dog's called moose. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I guarantee he's not as big as the <laughs> no, face. No, it's a tiny it's little, little French poodle. Thing. I thought I was on another planet. French like, poodle? Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> a French bulldog. She gets called a pug, mate. That pisses pug, me off. Sorry. Oh, I like your pug. It's like, fuck off. It's a fucking Frenchie. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for swearing. <laughs> but no, these elks, they're big, right? They're taller than the car. 
they're massive. Like the the I've bottom of them are like level with the top of the car. Holy what? shit! Yeah, I've seen a male moose because they're quite vi- they're, they're quite vicious. Oh they? yeah, they're, they're very they territorial as well. They'll literally like charge a car and fight it. Like they're shoot, they're they're taller. If I was to stand up. I could probably just crouch a bit and just walk underneath them. No, no, they're right. huge, like dinosaurs. Yeah, I was because you're like quite tall. I noticed that you're six tall. foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like literally, they're about like eight foot tall, like from the and their heads are even taller. They're fucking. I couldn't believe it, and they were just like, "Oh yeah, that's elk." I was like, "No, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> that's huge." <laughs> Did they eat them? Eat, yeah, you can eat elk. Yeah. You can hunt them. I don't know what you use to hunt them. Like, I must use a fucking cannon or something because they're huge. <laughs> I was so shocked. I was so shocked. But yeah, they're, they're massive. Yeah. yeah. Bloody hell, mate. Yeah, yeah. no. So um, it, it, that's the thing. Uh, over in this country, you, 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 you're free from anything like that. We don't that, get much. You? Yeah. yeah. And when you no. go to these countries, they're so used to it that they don't understand your reaction. And I'm like, we can't comprehend um, how, you know, you look in your shoe and there's like a Sydney funnel wed or something. Yeah, and mate. I'm just like, they're like, eh. I was like, no, no, I can't deal with that. Yeah, yeah. Knowing that's there. No, I would, I see, I would like to live abroad. I, if I didn't have kids in a heartbeat, I'd probably move somewhere, yeah. you know, yeah, quite yeah. warm. Because, I mean, I, I like England, but... The weather's shit here, isn't it? It is, it's mate. It's so bad. You know? It's the cost you, of living, you know? It's yeah. diabolical. You know, we're declaring a, a state of emergency soon if, if costs keep going up because people can't afford to live. When I was in Malaysia, yeah. I went jet skiing, snorkeling, fucking everything. I went to some palace or something and at the end of the week i spent like a hundred quid yeah it's like, <laughs> like it's, it's mental like how some places like dubai no tax no one's taxed everyone just earns and keeps their money and everyone's thriving and mm. like it's a bit expensive but you can afford it because yeah. you're not being drained you know yeah we have bridges here we still have toll bridges where we have to cross in an electric car as well yeah. and still pay a congestion charge. Yeah. Like it's, it's the cost of living here is mental and yeah. our government is just been oh, run man. by a mop. I know. Yeah. So, you I know, totally agree I, you. I, I'm the same. I want to like, you know, live somewhere mm. else where it makes a bit more sense. What are you doing in Cornwall, am I? Cornwall? Yeah. I'm seeing you. Well, didn't you say you're coming down to see a friend as well? Oh, my friend uh, visited Dave, who I record with. If you watch the channel, he's someone uh, we do series (laughs) together. I'm seeing you. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's the main reason I came down here. Oh, I I thought you were coming down anyway. You you were coming down to see a few friends. Because when you you said Cornwall, I was like, oh, that's a bit far. But I really want to do a podcast. And like, this seems like really That's so nice of you to do that. That's really nice. But my friend Dave, he lives like an hour away. So I'm like, whilst I'm down there, I can go see Dave oh, as well. Right. So, so it's the opposite way. I feel really privileged now. No, no, I'm really down here for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when are we doing a ghost hunt then? Oh, oh, right. yeah. I'll come and do a ghost hunt. What, are you staying down here somewhere? or? I'm going to, uh, I got a meeting um, about my app in London tomorrow. So I got a, I think it's a five hour drive back, but I just yeah, love yeah. Driving, I love seeing like traveling more, and it's, it's well, you it's would a real you're Tesla, mate. Yeah, yeah, stop off at the services, have a cheeky Maccas. Have you been to Cornwall like a lot? Um, Do I want to bring my one of my bucket lists is to find treasure, and yeah, yeah. um, I've got a boat, um, up in Hastings. Um, I've just sold my smaller one, I've got like a bigger one now. And I want to bring it down to Land's End because I'm oh, obsessed yeah. with the Merchant Royal. Uh, the shipwreck lost at sea. And I really want to bring my boat down here with metal detectors and stuff and see if I can find just at least a coin or something. Because I Imagine metal detect it. and everything and I want to find something down here. So, yeah, I I, uh, I I can't remember when I was last down here, but I'll be probably coming back a lot more. Yeah, that'd um, be great, mate. Yeah. Because uh, let me tell you that um, I've just passed my scuba. Um, That's what I want to do next. It's one of my next goals. Well, I'll take you down to a local um, scuba place. They're amazing. Yeah. So I took my son. I thought, you know, I, I, this channel, this Casper Vision, used to be vlogging. Yeah. You know? So I did a couple of um, scuba vlogs with my son and things like that. Mm. So I just passed that, got my certificate. And I found out that just the wrecks around Cornwall, there's more wrecks around Cornwall than the whole of Europe. Yeah. Yeah, I've so, got like the Navionics and stuff on the boat and it, literally all the chartered wrecks, uh, you can go to them because that's where I go to fish. Uh, you fish off of the wrecks and the reefs. But when you look down this end, 
It's everywhere. Like yeah. there's so many. There's got to be stuff. You like down fishing? There. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a fisherman. I, I do freshwater, and now I've got the boat. I do sea fishing and oh. just cook up some mackerel, and it's amazing. Oh mate, yeah. I, I went sea fishing two, three, went th- two, three weeks ago. Yeah. Caught fuck all pretty much, but it's still I, out I of love... season technically. But yeah. um, if you if you if you know what you do, I'm still learning sea fishing. So, right, yeah. um, but I primarily uh, in the back of my head, I was like, if I get a boat, I can. I could do sh- boats you know, away. Mace yeah. loves uh, fishing, don't you? Love mate? fishing, yeah. yeah. Love it. Well, if I bring the boat down here, you're like, guys have to come out and yeah, man, look yes, at some fish. Mate, go diving be... and fishing, yeah, and, diving and, and fishing. then fucking ghost hunting on yeah. the wreck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, imagine that. Imagine yeah. an underwater ghost hunt. Never been done. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Could go viral. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we search for ghosts on the seabed floor. But that would that would be good, mate. Yeah, uh, like you know, obviously you got your thing, but y- you know. If ever you're down here and you wanted it, or we, we, you know, we could go up to see you and do a, a ghost hunt or something. That'd be amazing. Well, we're all over the country. We've didn't done them in Wales, um, yeah. like um, Northern Wales. Uh, we travel like anywhere. We're planning to do stuff in America and stuff because the ghost hunting's really taken off on the channel. And um, we're hoping to do something like live one day and stuff mm. with it. So yeah, we'll be traveling here, there, and everywhere for everything. I'm, Keeping my mind open to. And you take your girlfriend with you as well. I've seen one where you went with a girl. With a girl was that your girlfriend? Which one? Oh, in the uh, in the <laughs> olden days, she was my girlfriend at the time. And uh, okay, in the yeah, olden days, ex, you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, about five years ago. Wasn't it? <laughs> that wasn't five. No, years that was ago. what about three? Right, three, maybe, something? maybe. Yeah, yeah. I watched a couple of your ghost hunts. Do you ever? Yeah, do you ever good. feel like sometimes? Sorry, mate. Sorry. Do you ever feel like sometimes? Because you're saying about it, like we, 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 this production team, and we're gonna do this, and with my channel. Do you ever just feel like, fuck off? I just want to be me and the camera. Um, no, like when I, like you seem quite shocked that I come down here to, to do this. I am example. genuinely like, because I, I have this assumption yeah, that that's when, the thing. You, when you get to a certain level, you can like, become a dick. No, not, not, not <laughs> a dick, but sort of like, because you've got so many other things that are more beneficial for you. Just busy. You know, that you'd be like, well, how much are we talking or, that, you know. That's I, the difference. Like, I feel like a lot of influencers, they only want to. What am I going to get out of this? How am I? How is it going to make me get more followers? And um, I've always, um, my friend Dave, I make videos with him all the time, and um, he's doing really well now. But I don't, I don't look at someone's following and think, ah, they they've not got millions. Why should I do it? Like if I want to try it out and if I want to enjoy myself, I'm going to go and do it. Um, so I don't see why. Um, I get why people make the assumption because that's the standard. That's how people treat other people in this industry. Hence why I don't have a lot of friends in this industry because um, and I don't go to a lot of events because um, people just treat each other and backstab each other for yeah. fame. He, and it's, yeah, well, even the, so, because you must have met so many big mm, YouTubers. Yeah, met PewDiePie. Yeah, I've not met him. We we used to speak in the Vine days. I, I okay. met his wife. Uh, she's lovely. Um, yeah. And I've I bump into JJ uh, a few events and you know well, we talk and well when you see JJ please because yeah. I've got my my guys the Casperians yeah all right tweeting like crazy because I want to get on top of this bloody um, charity football match he's got going on oh the side man yeah you, you and me need yeah. to get on that I, I dropped him a message I was like I'm ready I'm ready to play some football like uh, he hasn't got back to me but he must get like so many people yeah, yeah. asking him and I don't know him. Personally, we just bump into each other at events and know oh, okay. each other. Yeah, yeah. We're we'll just like, maybe putting Casper site, eh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll slide him your headshots again. <laughs> <laughs> but like you, it must be, um, yeah, it must be quite. Yeah, I'll never like leave me alone. I'm never like people I want to work with. Um, obviously, sometimes their intentions are like that. They're like, I want to work with Daz because I can get get something out of him. And unfortunately, ninety percent of the time, that's the case. And I, you know, you develop trust issues. From yeah. that, I just if I like the content, if I like the vibe, I'm like, I want to do that for fun, mate. Like, That's so nice um, of you, mate. Yeah, and it has been fun. I've come down. I've been able to see my friend Dave when I was down here. I've made a trip out of it. You know, got some time on my own, and yeah, like my my team, ghost hunting team, uh, they've got their own channel and they do a lot of stuff for TV. So, and I've got like they're amazing friends. Like I've made such good friends out of doing it with them, and they don't have many followers, but yeah. it's, it's not the point. It's my uh, my my missus, because um, I said to her, I said, look, Baz is coming. And my son just went. <laughs> my kids were exactly <coughs> the same dude. And my, my missus goes, 
we need to get Tyler there. I said, I can't, I can't, <laughs> just, no. I, I said, what do you mean we, we need to get Tyler there? He's good, a baby. Daz, Daz is there. We need to get Tyler. We need to get your boy to. to oh, you I should have brought him down. I said no. I can't. I can't take advantage like that. No, he's going out of his way to come. I said that's just not professional, no, baby. You, can't. you should have brought him down, baby. We'll make up some excuse that like you've forgotten something. We need to get him there. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, no. Well, we'll do a video for him or something before I leave. Oh no, no. Like, he'll love that. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, funny enough, you've got an idea. Um, uh, We've brought um, that was my idea because my kids absolutely love him. Jack, yeah. my eldest, he's 12. Yeah, absolutely loves you. Like, okay. mate, for a week, my dad's dad's games is coming. In <laughs> dad's, dad's beating dad's games. I brought his controller and a pen, so oh, you can yeah, sign his I'll vandalize his controller. He would have, so yeah, that was yeah. a really good idea. So I thought, well, sod it, I'll um, bring yeah. my, my, my boy's controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. mate. Yeah, cheers, mate. Well, listen, mate, I mean, is there anything that you want to sort of drop in, anything like that? Any, any shout-outs or something you want um, uh, my guys to no, follow? No, it's, it's, uh, it's just um, I've always wanted to do more podcasts and stuff like this, and um, thank you for having me. It's been hey, such, mate, a, it's been such good fun. It's yeah. so Absolutely. nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Pleasure. It's been yeah. amazing. Um, make sure you go over to uh, Daz Games, Daz Black uh, YouTube channels and, and do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. Subscribe. Like, smash, <laughs> smash, the like or subscribe button. <laughs> oh, you've got to do Linda for my lad. Oh, he said <clears throat> him to say Linda. I don't want to break the mic. <laughs> Go on, do it, Dad. Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, oh, as soon, Linda. Uh, when you said that to me, I was like, "You said, yeah." He says Linda, doesn't he? I was like, "Linda, no, no." As soon as you said that, I was like, "Oh yes, yes, <laughs> mate, yes." Thanks, Dad. Bless her. Nice one, mate. 